Lincoln stated. Oh, I'm so glad you two worked things out. And to think I actually thought you me. Well, I was going to, but you ran out of the room. Mother! What? Uh... What? If it isn't your internet friends without benefits, Blasphemous HD. And today we are here to check out a family guy, try not to laugh challenge you guys have sent to me in the DMs of the Discord. Let's do this. What a precious little boy. Oh, that's my, uh, son. Oh, your I son. thought they were talking about man. you're just a baby yourself. Call this Henry, female give a the boy. skank a nice tip. Give the skank? Wow! Welcome to Flappy's. Why don't you have a seat next to my little baby whose Debbie dad doesn't pay child support? Ha! Oh, God, I need help. <laughs> well, I guess now we know what kind of dog he is. A melancholy. <laughs> Nothing? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I, I, I should have said, I should have said, Chihuahua. <laughs> I don't have to f impress you. <laughs> games, and if they win enough tickets, they get a prize. I have 13 tickets now. Is that enough? Oh, sorry, Timmy, but you need 15 tickets to lose. <laughs> oh, is that meth? The fuck? Is that sugar? What was that? Well, it was just carpet fresh. I'm what? on your side. So Nigga! I guess I'm not gonna be here what? until you become a man. Yes, I Nigga. think we all know what that's going to be like. This nigga said, what is carpet fresh? A what? I'm on your side. A Larchmont? I'm helping. Who do we know in Larchmont? My sister-in-law. Oh, yes. He's right. in a snort that. He's never gonna want it again. Oh. What? How is Carol? Oh, please don't make me angry, pal. You, you wouldn't angry. like me when I'm angry. Yeah. All right, Peter, that's enough. Bravo, Peter. You are the Spalding Gray of crap. Sorry, Doc. I, I don't usually let Peter talk me into this kind of stuff. Wait a minute. Brian, you have a pre-existing relationship with this degenerate? A degenerate, am I? Well, you are a festigio. See? I can make up words, too, sister. You don't have any of those things. How do you know? Peter, face it. You're a terrible liar. <laughs> huh? It was you. You'll see a doctor tomorrow and... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna see a doctor, Lois. The healthiest thing we can do is just ignore this and pretend it doesn't exist. Just like we do with the squid. Oh. Uh, earthquake. Hey, yeah, yeah, truck going by. You're gonna have a tough time finding it. Oh, hold on. Yeah! Yeah! Someday. Give it to me straight, Doc. How long do I have? Mr. Griffin, I'd say you have about a month to live. Yeah. But hey, what the hell do I know? <laughs> I've been I've been sued by every patient I ever had. <laughs> Look at the size of this file. This is this <laughs> Wow. <laughs> uh, let's just wait for the test results. <laughs> Brian Stewie's birthday is gonna suck. The only stuff I could get on such short notice was a cake and that big ass pinata. <sighs> I sure hope candy comes out of that. Yeah. I'll take this one. But I won't pay a That's cent really over shitty. 60 bucks. Sir, that casket costs a thousand dollars. Okay, 70 bucks. What? Two thousand bucks. That's twice what it costs. 40 bucks. What? Oh. He, he doesn't know how to haggle. I'm so glad you could join us, oh. Meg. We're gonna have a great time on our trip. A trip? Like to the beach? Cause I didn't bring my bathing suit. Oh, you won't need anything for where we're going. Excuse me, I've gotta go mix the punch. <sighs> yeah, a lot of memories by yeah. Look, my first bike. Boy, I had so much fun playing with that. More tea, Mr. Bike? That's some lonely shit. Hey, man. where are you off to? Ah! You gotta make things ah! right for Lois and get this monkey off my back. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, 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 hey, hey! More, this doesn't look very tea, good. Mr. Oh, Mega. this doesn't look very good at all. Oh. My my nephew drew my portrait. It doesn't look a thing like me. I mean, look at the nose. It's all. It's Will all... you just tell us about Peter's tests? Okay, okay. You think one of us stole it? I never said the word stole. Looks like someone has a guilty conscience. Guilty conscience? Ha! <laughs> I'm the only guy on this block who actually pays for his cable. Ooh. Pretty high and mighty for a man who left our nation's flag out in the rain last 4th of July. That's against the law, officer. Ooh. Ooh. Meg, you have the coolest family. She sure does. Hey, here's to family. To, to family. family. Oh, jeez, look at the time. Come on. Come on, kids, let's get going.
Uh, Wait a second. What about Peter? He's the one who wanted the trophy all along. I couldn't have stolen it. Last night I was stealing Joe's ladder so I could steal a trophy tonight. Peter. What? It's a ladder. He can't use it. It's like taking a watch off a dead guy. Ah, oh, sorry, Meg. I guess it's another bunch of people who'd rather fake their own death than go to a party with you. Children, the time of ascension has arrived. Oh, for the love of God. Haven't any of you ever been in a cult before? No, oh, nigga. Whoa, whoa, is this the price of my bill or my no phone number? No one ever survives, like... Your phone number. Oh. <laughs> well, well, it's still pretty pricey. Excuse us, we're having a small problem with home security. You what? Do you guys have those round metal things that you bury in the ground and when you step on them, they explode? Landmines? Landmines! landmines. It was landmines. Ah, this sucks, Brian. Why, why should I have to pay this? I mean, there's nothing wrong with me. Yeah, it's a shame you're not dying. Wait a second, that's it. I can't make a dead guy pay his bill. All I gotta do is write deceased right here where it says name. And where it says sex, I'll write no thanks, I'm dead. I offer you a recipe. Combine one part small town neighborhood with a dash of missing trophy, and what you're left with is a gumball fit only for a madman. A gumbo served almost exclusively in the twilight. Hey, who the hell is that? I bet he took the trophy. Yeah, fuck him up. Yeah, jump the good one. Yeah, you don't want to see come out way, suit, bitch. Yeah, fuck him up. Yeah, let the pregnant lady get some of them. Who are you? I'm Callista Flockhart. Where? Who the hell do you think I am? I'm death. Really? Which one is Peter Griffin? Ah, uh, he is. Well, Cleveland and Quagmire are holding their positions, but I haven't seen Joe all day. Freeze! Dead? Careful, Kevin. God There's a bear damn, truck two feet to your right. Thanks, Dad. Look out for your mother. There's a sandwich on the counter, honey. Come on, man. Which one is Peter Griffin? Uh, this is Peter Griffin. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. <laughs> Cleveland, these lobster traps aren't going to catch any intruders. Lobster. Yes, they will. I baited them with these plump and tasty Fenway Franks. Daddy, we got one. Oh, you Daddy, we got one. Fat, ha, ha, ha. fat boy See? smelled a hot dog. Couldn't help it. Fat we're right boy. in. God damn, we're, we're really that. We really is that. Why too, we you know, wait, too much. I'm not finished holding my side. Hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I really do be doing it. Oh, to the fat boy. Why? Uh, why? I mean, uh. Hi, little fella. Is Meg Griffin here? No, Shit. she's not. It's false Probably out scoring more rock. Usually. Sandy Belfer, child services. Only to sell, not, this the, baby in not a the smoke. Home. What? Only to sell. For God's sake, feed me. Let me guess. Not Fall the out smoke. of puppy chow. What an awful home for a child. Actually, How frisky, dare you? Bitch. This is a wonderful I'll home. I have you know I feed my baby frisky Pirina peri peri doggy towel, bitch. Again and I'll be your head. Hey, shut up. Our top story tonight, the rules of death no longer apply. That's right, Tom. Our own Asian reporter, Trisha Takanawa, filed this report all by herself. Oh. I'm here with Peter Griffin, the man who claims he withstood a barrage of bullets and did not die. Uh, let's see, Stanley Starkweather Stevens. So this is where babies come from? Yes, Chris, this is where babies come from. You told me I came out of your vagina. You lied to them. You, you told child services that we steal lawnmowers and cheat on our taxes and, and worship some guy named Stan. Um, actually, I, I said Satan. That's a typo. Next. Hi, yeah, uh, where the Griffins? Griffin, Griffin. I'm sorry, I can't find your paperwork. Well, look harder. I want my baby back. Lois, Lois, please, let me handle this. The name's Griffin. We're the ones who fed dog food to our crack-addicted baby. He had a scar on his arm, and he had a big, stupid... Doo-doo head. A big stupid doo-doo head. Motherfucker, <laughs> you Honestly, the things these children come up with. Convulsing? If you have a child you'd like to exploit in order to get a free trip to Los Angeles, then why not have him try out for our show? Like, huh. is this nigga... Jeez, I never was any good at dealing with the authorities. <laughs> Don't worry, Brian. I know how to handle this. Sir, are you aware that you were going 50 in a... I'm gonna have to ask you to put your shirt down, sir. <laughs> Peter, are you saying that if I shoot you in the head with this Channel 5 pistol, you'll be completely unharmed? Why don't you, uh, give it a shot? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here goes. Ah! 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 What have I done? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Got the bitch. Oh, you're awful. Thousand bucks says I live. Thousand clams, huh? What the hell? Okay. What the fuck? You gonna play that shit dry, huh? Damn. Hey, look at that. I beat my loogie. Nigga. Oh my god. Damn. Oh, oh, god. Oh, Damn. Um shit. how old do you think daddy is? Forty two. Oh, um, uh, uh, I, I mean, I mean, Dad is old. I think he's seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yes, that's what you want to hear, isn't it? Yes, yes jump through the hoop. <laughs> Dad is feet smell. <laughs> uh, jackasses. <laughs> Motherfuckers. That's all. No! Oh, you know, I, actually, I, I think I'm going to be okay. Oh, Jack, now we can get married and everything you promised. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Mm. Oh, Go right back down. Oh, the LAPD. Oh, 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 I still can't believe you let me do that. We must stop Lex Luthor before he irradiates the world's supply of gold. Uh, hi. Uh, sorry. I know you got a meeting going on, but, um... So, we are officially running low on Mr. Pibb and Cheez-Its. So, um... Just putting it out there, if you're heading to the store later, uh... You know, uh, 800-mile drive for me, like, uh, five seconds for you. Whatever. I'm the not here. They said Jesus. you? Yeah, everyone else was busy, so uh, they sent me. What the hell are you gonna do? You don't have any superpowers. Watch. Uh, Watch I from your got a voice. cell phone. Well, oh, no bar. I'm not helping no angry bitch. Most I'm not of the helping time, the, the kids will exercise out in the I field. Let the but if it's raining, I'll, or I'll, I'll never over. They stay inside and play dodgeball. Oh, I, I love dodgeball. Jumped and beat up and by jump. niggas. I know I beat up. I'm not helping. And this week in Home Ec, we're teaching your kids how to make bunt cake. Oh, I love bunt cake. I might help. Heads up. <laughs> Saving oh, well, a female's life, they Quiet. always Well, you're 42 stuff, you years old, well, and it says here you've never had a prostate uh, exam. You no, but I've had other exams, like that Not one in college. On. Yeah, I mean... Damn it, this is too hard. Here's what I think of your test, Mr. Teacher. Oh. Nigga, what? You just stood up to me. Congratulations. That was the test. <gasps> You may begin your exam now. Motherfucker, what? This nigga using a C as A dog says. <laughs> a cow says. That's a ah, of course, of course. I like meeting Chris's teachers. This ought to be more interesting than that time I met Ted Danson. Wow, Ted Danson and Mary Steenburgen. Hey, always nice to meet a fan. Oh, shoot. I forgot my umbrella. That's okay, honey. Come on over here. Thanks, dear. Sometimes it's good to be a freak. Hey, do you want to sleep together later? Oh, no. No, no. Thanks, though. Dr. Hartman violated That's really me. How they'll do he that. took my innocence. That's really how they'll treat a nice dude, man. That's, That's why I'm not... Yeah, I mean, oh, Peter, that's a that prostate name. exam. It's an important part of a physical for men your age. You sound just like him. <laughs> oh, was he was he fondled with? Idiot. Good evening, parents. I'm Miss Clifton. I'd like for you to fill out these contact information sheets. Now, now, who would like to pass them out? Oh, 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 Miss Clifton, Miss Clifton, over here. Oh, 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 Miss Clifton, 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 Miss Clifton. Miss Clifton! Miss Clifton! Mmm, Mrs. Griffin. Ow! Hi, sweetie! Ugh, look at her staring. What are you looking at, huh? God, I should take her out right here with these, man. Oh, hey, Lois. Oh, you like staring? Oh, why don't I give you a closer look? Wicka pata! Yeah, yeah, you want some of this, Maury Poe bitch? Pata! Patang! Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, you come back for more? Huh? Pata! Pata! I'd freaking drop her ass. That's funny. I, I, I'm sorry, will you all please excuse me for a moment? Tonight's winning lottery numbers are 6, 21, 18, 7, 42. Oh my god! I won! I'm free from all those snot nosed little bastards! I'm free! Yeah, kids ain't shit. I'll give you that. Motherfucker, what?
Oh, get a tan. Hey, Peter, buddy. How about some TV, what? huh? We now return to Freddy Got Fingered. No. Oh, God. No. Ouch. Oh, God. Yellow Pages. Let your fingers do the walking. Uh, Brian, why don't you teach Chris's class? I didn't know they You're were very knowledgeable, play. and the kids might knock you down a few pegs, which would be good for you. You know, that is a terrific idea, Lois. I probably have a lot to offer young people. <laughs> What's he going to teach them? How to lick the Dorito crumbs from between the sofa cushions, or how to leave a dead bird on the carpet? That was a gift, you bastard. That was a gift for the family. Uh, are we still going to the baseball game? Get that away from me, Chris! Uh, Stop it, Meg! Uh, I'm your oh. substitute teacher, Brian Griffin. Good morning, Good morning Mr. Mr. Griffin! Oh, please, please, call me Brian. Mr. Griffin is my father. I thought your father's name was Coco, and he was hit by a milk truck. Sit right there, honey. Mommy will go get Rupert so he can eat with you. Oh, God. Thoughtful. Oh, hey, Lois, I made coffee if you want some. Oh, thank you, Brian. That'd be nice. Uh, hey, Brian. Uh, listen, I've got a favor to ask. Could you, uh, could you not talk to Lois anymore? What? You know, it's just I'm, I'm tired of you hitting on her. That's all. All right, our goal here is to gain a command of the English language so you can be successful writers like Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. Ha, huh, there, finished. Goodwill Hunting by Matt Damon. Hey, uh, you think we could put both our names on that? What? You've done nothing but eat briars and smoke pot for the last six months. Hey, hey, Chris, when I was in school, you know what we used to do when a teacher gave us a bad grade? What? We'd egg his house. Come on, where's this bastard live? I'll show ya! That's his house! <laughs> Take that! I got Take that, it. you bum! What the hell are you doing? Is that him? Yeah! Oh, crap! Hello, class. Mark Twain here, filling in for Brian Griffin. I understand you children read my book, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Yes! I read it! Now, who can tell me... Bobby, stop screwing around back there. Who can tell me the significance of the carpetbaggers in my novel? Yeah, uh, they stood for corruption and greed. That's exactly right. What am I gonna do, Seamus? Dr. Hartman is my only hope, and there's no way he's gonna see me. Well, you'd best come up with something, Peter. Otherwise, this will happen to your prostate. You just, uh, carry a picture of a diseased prostate around with you? Never know when it's gonna come up in conversation. And then who's the one who's prepared? I've also got a map of Middle Earth, a cat doing a pull-up, and the guys from Primus. These poster jokes doing anything for you? Eh, hit and miss. We should hang out more. You kids are mighty smart. You must have a powerful good teacher. Well, I gotta catch my time steamboat back you to the 1800s. You must have a powerful good teacher. Motherfucker, what? That's actually hey, sorry I'm late. Did I miss anything? Yeah, Captain Crunch was here. Didn't you pass him on the stairs? Dr. Hartman, your license is hereby reinstated. Oh, I'm so glad you two worked things out. And to think I actually thought you raped me. Well, I was going to, but you ran out of the room. Mother! What? Uh, what? Uh, gosh, I was what? really starting to like this job. It was nice interacting with intelligent people. I usually hang out with an idiot. Brian, Brian, check it out. I made a water slide in the house. Yay! <laughs> 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 I'm not going to call the hospital because you won't learn anything if I do. Huh, wonder what the hell's down there. Judd Hirsch? Uh, hey. Uh, what, uh, what's going on? Nothing. All right. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mrs. Lockhart. I graded your quizzes from yesterday. Most of you did well. Some of you, I think, can do better. What do you see here, Chris? Two D's and an F. Just sit down and go to the bathroom already! A scandal at the Quahog Bowling Alley tonight, where a local man, Glenn Quagmire, was charged with peeping in the ladies' room. Coming up, Diane's weight. Tell us, sir, how did you summon the courage to save your friend from that burning building? That freaking place was on fire?! And there you have it. Coming up next, watch me shave. You know, you're lucky I've got some extra pull around here, thanks to my 18 medals for heroism. Hey, here he goes again with the medals. Hey, Joe, if you love your medals so much, why don't you marry him? <laughs> uh, hi. I'm, uh, Mr. Griffin, but you can call me Brian. Mr. Griffin is my father. <laughs>
Uh, well, has uh, anybody read Huckleberry Finn? <laughs> I, I did something like that once. And in the it's event of your death, you'd like the insurance policy to be it's paid to your wife? Yep. And your wife is this piece of pie? You got it. Love you. Okay, sign here. You know what? You can probably go ahead and cancel that. You just gotta do something simple, like Vincent Van Gogh. Ooh, it's... What is this? It's my ear. Do you like it? You don't, you don't like it? No, I like it. But it's just... Why your ear? Because I love you. Well, at least this will be a funny story to tell our kids someday. Oh, you want kids? Ugh, oh, yikes. Uh, I wish you'd told me that before I got you this. Now, don't worry oh. about a thing, Quagmire. Your pals are going to help you change your ways. I, I don't know, Peter. I'm not sure I can do this. Meg, hey, get out of the way. There it is. All right, all right. So as I'm chilling in Verona when my homie busts out with, Yo, Romeo, check out that biatch Juliet in the window. Problem is, Juliet's peeps are like East Coast rappers, and my posse's representing West Saeed. Just like my boys Tupac and Biggie, know what I'm saying? Please don't. That's racist, man. Yeah, Did that's not? just straight ignorant, dog. Peter, are you sure Quagmire is ready to be out it's in public? Not Nothing to worry about, Lois. We figured out a foolproof rehabilitation method. I got the idea from when Brian had to wear that cone after his operation. Okay, okay, if I make this, we're all gonna get laid. Ha-ha! Yes! Score! Score! I used to do that when Boy, I was younger. I'd really like to chew on my crotch right now. It's uh, good to meet you, Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Griffin. Man. Well, we wanted we to talk, talk to you about, about our son. You see, Chris really... Oh, no, 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 Lois, Lois, honey, let's uh, make sure we do this delicately, all right? Mrs. Lockhart, our son would like to plow you. Man, I want to plow her. Nigga. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That, that was bill, amazing. Man. You saved cartoon her life. Thank like God you know CPR. I mean, uh, not really. What the hell CPR? But, you know. I had a feeling that's what Maybe. was going on. I Sorry, know, like, our son can sometimes be a boob. I mean, a melon. Like I mean, a, a sopping wet pair of breasts barely covered by a racing t-shirt. Peter, Mrs. Lockhart, we just wanted you to know so you could spare his feelings and let him down gently. Don't worry. I know exactly what to say to Chris. Thank you so yeah. much. You've been very understanding. Yep, Which baby. is why I've invented a new type of flying machine. You know, I vaguely recall seeing footage somewhere of something exactly like this that uh, leads me to believe this probably won't work. All right, Stewie, let her rip. Uh -oh. All right, we attack the Rice crispy guys at dawn. Ah! Assuming Judd Hirsch delivers the goods. Gosh, you know, I, I don't mean to impose, but <gasps> do you have a picture of yourself that I could tape to the back of Lois's head? Yo, that's funny. Oh, shit. Mrs. Lockhart? Chris, come down here. I need to talk to you. It's not that. It's not that. Hey! Do you have any idea what time it is? Get in the house, fatty! Such a Those freaking though. elves, man. That's they just came out of the trees, eye, man. They just came out of the trees. You saved my ass back there. You saved mine. What, what, Here's what? to snap. To snap. Nigger! Yeah, good God, look at the fat man's Stand underwear. Dying? Looks like a Jackson Pollock painting. Don't put that in with my things! Huh, what's this? You know, Stewie, Mommy doesn't usually read things out of Chris's pockets. She's more respectful than that. Well, whatever helps you sleep at night, bitch. Congratulations, Quagmire. You're the newest member of my wall of fame. What's wrong, Peter? Oh, it's nothing, Joe. It's... I don't know. It's, it's just that all you guys have something to be proud of, you know? Quagmire got a key to the city. Nobody took care of me when I lost my arms and legs and was struck blind, deaf, and dumb. Hey, hey, Meg, they got a Happy Days spoof in here, but they call it Crappy Days. <laughs> That's just wrong. Uh, Why would they? All right, you know what? If you're not going to laugh, then I'm not going to keep you company. Look at the outline. You're always of getting medals I... for catching crooks. Hell, even Cleveland used to Never be an accomplished auctioneer. I have 125. Do I hear 130? 130,000 know, for this uh, authentic Comanche headdress. I got no, 130. I got 130. Do I hear 135? 140. Do I hear 140? B. One thirty-five going once. Romeo and Juliet. Hey, yo, man, what's that thing in the middle? What this? <laughs> you gotta be freaking kidding me. That's an ampersand. It's a symbol for the word and. Ah, oh, this sucks. I've been working on this all week, and I keep coming up dry. Oh my kitten, I'm never gonna be remembered for anything. Not like my great great uncles, the Siamese twins who fought each other in the Civil War. I'm seceding, like hell you were. Not too smart, huh? 
Yeah, did not think that one through. My oh. God, nobody can be this stupid. Not, not, not even Peter when he took that blow to the head and thought he was Larry from Three's Company. Jack, there's a hot tub party across the street and we're invited. Oh, and don't worry, if uh, Mr. Furley comes by, I'll make sure he thinks you're... <laughs> don't give up yet, Peter. I mean, many blind people lead rich, fulfilling lives. Oh, I don't know, Brian. I mean, I guess I can give it a shot. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! I almost didn't do it. I almost didn't do it. I thought, is this in bad taste? But you know what? I went for it. I went for it, and I am so glad I did. Oh, worth it. Totally worth it. He is so gorgeous, and he plays by no one's rules but his own. Meg, you should ask him out. I mean, you're the only one of us who's ever had a real boyfriend. I'm back. I brought another picnic. You're such a good listener. You're not like the other boys. Oh. You're so good with animals. Oh, come on, Chris. Everybody's done something they're not proud of. Like when I used to be a Wonder Twin. Peter, the old schoolhouse is on fire. Let's go. Wonder, Wonder Twin, Twin powers, powers activate. activate. Form of a hawk. All right, who's next for a flu shot? Oh, that's me. I'm, uh, I'm Peter Griffin. Mr. Griffin, these flu shots are in short supply. We need to save them for the elderly, like these folks here. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll be heading out then and... Whoa! Oh, ah! look at that. Oh, well, since it's already in there, you might as well uh, push down on the old plunger there. Come on, Peter. Yeah, uh, I'll be right behind you. Shape of Jaina's tampon. <laughs> and now I play the waiting game. You're a monster. You know what was a monster? Frampton Comes Alive, 1976. Is there anyone you knew who didn't have that record? I don't think so. Bam! All right, have a good winter. <sighs> Hi, Craig. Um, I, I was wondering if maybe you'd want to, I don't know, go out sometime? Huh. That's about as likely as me playing by someone else's rules besides my own, which I would never do. You can come to the I play by my own movie. rules. Nobody else's. Not even my own. How about a movie? I don't go out yeah, with dudes. We, we go watch a movie. They got 300 stores, 200 restaurants, 53 bars, and an indoor cattle ranch. I go to Baskin Robbins every night and buy myself a little treat. How the hell am I supposed to compete with that? Mom, Dad, am I ugly? Oh, yes. of course not, but, sweetie. Yeah, where'd you get a stupid idea like that? that. Craig Hoffman. Craig, Craig good, Hoffman said that? Well, well, he's a sharp female, kid. You might be ugly. <laughs> You need what, to fix bitch? the place. You know what you look like? Reinvent the clam's what? image. And yeah, we'll help you. With a good That'll attitude, take forever. Man. Not if we do a 1980s fixing stuff up montage. Stuff well, I think we made it worse. Really, Boy, I do uh, not uh, envy uh, whoever has to uh, clean that really mess up. Megan Lowry. Outlook on life. You Ooh, can enough of that. Shit. Go away, oh, damn you. I mean, she is passable with her pants off. Oh, you're going to get it now! That, I'm, I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'll get my green fast, mother... Fuck you, bitch! I'll be the shit out of my green, show me that shit. We only, we only show bad hey, bitches Horace, what the in my dreams. It? Yeah, it's a karaoke machine. I never that. got around to installing it. Regular a karaoke shit. machine? Wait up. a minute, that's it. We'll turn this place into a karaoke bar. Oh, man, that's the best idea since they faked the moon landing. It was a moving scene today at Hatch Pond as six members of the Pawtucket Fire Department struggled valiantly to save the life of a fish trapped under the frozen ice. Rescue workers managed to get the fish out of the water, but unfortunately it died shortly after. Peter, you can't just pull the kids out of school for a baseball game. Yeah, no, no, no. there's nothing these kids learn in school they can't learn on the street. It's 3 o'clock. Where the hell is Louie? Well, you tell me. Louie left his house at 2.15 and has to travel a distance of 6.2 miles well, at a rate of 5 miles per hour. Right. What time will Louie arrive? The consequences will be way too real. Depends if he stops to see his hoe. That's what we call a variable. Yeah, gotta stop All those to see the years hope. of paying my dues as musical director under that old hack have finally paid off. I like hoes. Oh, Lord, you know I mean? congratulations. Like, Our little theater group finally has you know, a committed you go visionary at his helm. And such an you know, attractive one. Brian, Ooh. you'll have to audition just like everyone else. Oh, God, of course. I, I, oh, you didn't think, you, you thought I was, ha. <laughs> Lois. Dad, don't you have to work today? <laughs> it's nothing a little phone call can't take care of. Hello? Mr. Weed, I can't come to work today. I was in a terrible plane crash. My entire family was killed, and I am a vegetable. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, you guys. Peter, guess what? what I am going to... first. Mr. Weed said whoever comes up with the best idea for the big Christmas toy this year gets a huge bonus. Hey, Dad, why don't you invent the Frisbee? That's an awesome toy. It's already been invented. Then how come I never heard of it? This is great. We haven't done anything together like this since we saw Mike Tyson You got beat. that one, bro. All right, Mike. 
The word Your again doctor. is onomatopoeia. Uh, C. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Oh, dang. Yeah, my, this I, is my chance to prove I'm how valuable I am to the company. Oh, sorry, Lois. What's your news? Well, I... It's a boy, Mrs. Griffin. <laughs> the fever has affected his motor skills, Mrs. Griffin. Looks like he's going to have to repeat the fourth grade, Mrs. Griffin. Looks like he's going to have to repeat the fourth grade, Mrs. Griffin. The only way to get rid of them is with this special shampoo and a tiny comb, Mr. Griffin. Congratulations. You've passed the fourth grade, Mr. Griffin. Oh, great. Listen, I gotta leave, though. I'm going hunting with my son. Yes! Yeah! I think that's only funny to me, because right. I've actually I'm done that to a couple of yeah. women before. Hold on, it is yeah, street. Man. It'll be a souvenir only the, bitches, the first though. major league game only with your dad. Only the women. My God, I, I shall cherish this forever. I say, Oopy, I'll trade you this baseball for your souvenir bat. Sure. <laughs> what did you learn? Mr. Weed, distinguished members of the board, <gasps> may I present this year's hottest toy, Mr. Zucchini Head. You like that? He's got stupid cool yeah. hip-hop style. Oh, God. With his little hat and his dark mountains. Yep. Uh, thank you, Peter. That's enough. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is the best part. He dances. Well, I've seen oh, enough. Appropriate. I haven't had sex in four years. Go, sucks! Go, sucks! Ah, 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 oh, 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 ah, shit! Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Not no. Well, ever since they named, they renamed Gentlemen, hot dogs. Gentlemen, I apologize for wasting Glizzies? your time. Peter they is an adequate assembly line worker, but you'll be happy to know our company does not pay him to think. <laughs> I'll take this. No calls. Peter, if you want Mr. Weed to respect you, you're gonna have to earn it. I just realized hmm. this door says Weed earn on it. That's his name, Mr. Weed. Mr. Weed. I'm glad you're interested in joining the National Gun Association, Peter. Let me show you around. This is our shooting range. Wow, the business world sure is funny. Hey, Dilbert, what do you call it when a guy in middle management moves all the way to upper management? I don't know. What do you call it? A promotion. Oh, thanks. Here's a memo. I refuse to blame this on white people. I refuse. <laughs> Come on, bro. Well, sometimes the business world's funny. Yeah, a lot of creative people had mindless jobs. <laughs> Michelangelo worked in a marble quarry. Uh, Herman Melville was a customs agent. Albert Einstein worked for the patent office. Oh, and what is it you want to patent, Herr Smith? Uh, I call it uh, Smith's theory of relativity. Hey, look at this. What? Uh, that's really how Albert Einstein got all of his patents. I told you we're not starting without your how think I, how think I invented isn't dinner without him. I don't think I make the voice Ooh, of the dove. I, I could help simulate the experience. I don't find somebody to make the voice of the dove. And then I stab him in the, in the, uh, the gabble. Hey, you guys and want then... tomorrow's biology test? Whoa, how'd you get that? Never I do that. I spent the night with Mr. Burler. Motherfucker what? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, the sun's up. I'm safe for another night. Thanks, Meg. Even Kenneth, the well, badass mail clerk with against. the heart of gold. Hi, Kenneth. Hey, did I get any mail? People? No. And if you come Amazing. any closer, I'll slice you. Okay, hey. Okay. Man, what a badass. Like, yeah? Man, well, that badass just about. gave half his paycheck to orphans. Orphans with diseases. Oh, no, if they build like that, you'll have to probably... Nah, man, I'll probably let it slide. Somebody oh pull a knife on me, I'm not going to fight They're trying to corrupt our yeah, children. Even if I know I'm no, what do you expect? Those bastards nah, turned a whole generation of Americans into smokers with their damn Did subliminal they advertising. But smoke. That, you know what oh. they say, Timmy? Early smoke. peaches, long summer. Smoke. What's that, Lassie? Are you smoking yet? I got smoke, us a story bitches. on the 11 o'clock news. Did really? This is a game? Oh, Peter. I'll put Our on this story clothes tonight. for nothing. I will be playing Shit. the role of Anna in the Quahog Players production of The King and I. Tom? Thanks, Diane. In other news, I won't be going to the play because I'm sure it will be lousy. Tom, I'm getting late word that you're a petty, jealous closet case. Bit of breaking news. We now go live to Diane being a bitch. Diane? <laughs> <laughs> Just like I did with Chris. Bro, we gotta do a new segment like that, bro. That should be funny as fuck. I'll tell you what, it's no When I go live to Misley being a bitch, when I do, you'll understand why I can never go back to SeaWorld. That should be funny. Hey, hey, some of our greatest actors started in news. That should be funny as fuck. Today's weather calls for, uh, breezy skies and sun, and there's gonna be a... How news anchors really treat the shit? right my face! Oh, We interrupt this program to bring you a special bulletin on the approach of Hurricane Norman. Here with an update is Greg the Weather Mime. 
Wow. Okay, it, it's going to be cold. Very cold. And, and, and there's going to be wind. Nigga. And people's parents will throw fecal matter down on them from the rooftops. How awful. What? <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. That's, that's rain. Gentlemen, we need to talk. My wife says you're trying to get kids to smoke. <laughs> oh, that's just not true. Well, what, what about this toy? Peter, it's just a doll with a cigarette. I mean, Barbie has a dream car, but you don't see every eight-year-old kid driving. They're just fun toys. Smoke. Not now, Jerry. Yeah. Motherfucker! Smoke! Smoke! See, Meg, I'm like one of those not, bald not now, eagles Jerry. you see on the Discovery oh, Channel. The... Beautiful to look at, but mess with one of my chicks and I'll use my razor sharp talons to rip your f***ing eyes out. Damn, bitch. Cookies are done. Who wants chocolate chip? I do. Trust me, Peter, the last thing we want is to get kids to start smoking. Well, then, then, then what about that graph on the wall that says the first thing we want is to get kids to start smoking? That? Oh, that's just something my son made me in art class. Huh. Well, well then, then, then what about that poster that says the graph was not made in art class? We really do want kids to start smoking. Okay, listen up. Connie D'Amico's house is two stories. Now, if we set up booby traps here, here... How'd and... you get these blueprints? By booby traps, oh, does she mean that she's gonna, like, stand range. behind the door? And if some if an enemy walk past, she's gonna flash them her breasts? Sure, I love them type of booby traps. All right, Dad! You should have seen the, the way they were treating me. I've never gotten that kind of I had, like, one before. or two. Only one or two. It's right hard to get booby traps. Up your sack breath. Bitch, what? Mr. Griffin. But, Peter, why would they make you president? Well, maybe it's because I can recite all 50 states in a quarter of a second. But relax, Chris. Nothing bad ever happens when you're asleep. In fact, sometimes good things can happen. Excuse oh, me? Oh, Jenny. Jenny. Oh, yeah, Jenny, don't stop. Oh, Richard, Jenny, your HBO comedy specials have brought pleasure to millions. Good call. And what a sweet ass. Bad, bad guy. Bad job. It was um, a good save at first. Hi, can I help you? Ah, damn, yeah, bitch. some company hired me to stand next to you all day so you'd look better by comparison. That's how that's we. Ridiculous. That's how we celebrities do it. Do you get less ugly? Yeah. Ah! Since I became it's president, really like the that. have been higher than Alyssa Milano. If I'm hanging out with, if, if the only what girls kind of in, a cheap shot, Joel. If the only girls around me is a one and a two, oh, technically you don't need to park a two here, looks Griffin. better. You have an executive parking space now. Who could be hot? If the other woman around exactly didn't exist. like my old space. Yeah, but this one comes with your own company suck up. Morning, Mr. Griffin. Nice day. Well, it's a little cloudy. It's absolutely cloudy. One of the worst days I've seen in years. So, good news about the Yankees. I hate the Yankees. Pack of cheaters, that's what they are. What are you talking about? I'm better than him at everything. You name it. Sports, video games, even magic tricks. <laughs> got your nose. Oh, yeah? Well, I got your face. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Chris. It's only a trick. I love your tie. I hate this tie. It's awful. It's gaudy. It's got to go. And I hate myself. I hate you, too. You make me sick, you fat sack of crap. But I'm the president. The best there is. But you just said you hated me. But not you, the president. The you who said you hated you. You who love, hate, Yankees, clouds. No foul. Oh, that's a stupid call. And I know something about stupid calls. Uh, hello? Uh, Lois, I can't take out the garbage because I'm at the office and, and they're making me stay late. Peter, the caller ID says you're calling from the kitchen. In fact, I can see you. Can you see me now? No. Okay, now I'm at the office. Wow, my own office. Well, I guess I better get busy. Those got hey, Dad, look at these little bananas. <laughs> Why, you smug little bastard. Peter, yes, these are plantains, and there's nothing wrong with them. In fact, a lot of women prefer them to normal-sized bananas because they're exotic and flavorful and very, very special. <sighs> I think it's possible. You know what I mean? Don't know chick wanna get stabbed in her arteries and <laughs> your shit broken. Come on, bro. <laughs> yes! I win! Is it bad that I've stuck my I'm finger in the key machine? Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, it was yeah, well, it wasn't good. Um, Where's go, the score? Go get the medical dictionary and, and look up <laughs> fork and lung. 
Well, Why? Here it is. Time's a factor, Lois. Oh, I don't understand yeah. it. We've tried everything to get through to these politicians. Harvard lawyers, lobbyists, wise-cracking leprechauns. Oh. Excuse me, do you have a dollar? <laughs> I'm a little short. On <laughs> <laughs> Springer yesterday, they had I won't share my husband and these two women bitch slapped each other. Crowd went nuts. <laughs> they knew what this right, was. Why don't you try slapping <laughs> Diane? I think I can do that. Wait a minute. Nobody's <laughs> slapping anybody. This is Rogers and Hammerstein, not trash TV. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, I'm your man. Can it be I gotta warn you, I made some enemies on the hill. And that's when Clarence Thomas forced me into his chambers and showed me lewd pictures. <laughs> Mr. Griffin, we have indisputable evidence that not only have you never been in the same room as Clarence Thomas, you, you've never been in the same state. How do you respond to that? So, you're a, you're a flag girl. That's great, Meg. Yes, yes. Now you can be somewhere else when the boys don't call. Oh. Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Howard Stern's penis, Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Baba Booey. I think Peter That's women. There to go. Springer is one of our station's highest rated shows. I don't know. I thought you wanted to do a good show. Well, if you want to do a bad show, why don't we just do Rent? <sighs> yep. I guess we can try that. Action. Yeah, she knows government guys. God me damn, about. bitch. I'll show him a good time and get him to come around to our side. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, uh, Al Gore, George W. Bush? Yes. Yes. Oh, great. Uh, and, and what's your friend's name? Dick Army. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I win again, Andy. Come on, mate. One more before the missus notices I'm not snoozing on the couch. Too late! Hey, careful, Quagmire. Don't, don't get too close to that thing. <laughs> the hell? Did I just get laid? <laughs> Ninja! <laughs> No, no, seriously, what's his name? Dick Army. <laughs> oh, oh, I just got it. You want to be the director? Fine. I quit. Me direct? I don't know what to say, except I'm the king of the world. I don't get it, Mom. If you're so mad at Dad for wrecking your show, why did you come to opening night? I came because I love the theater. Who wants to see him fail? I mean, if I just came here to enjoy watching your father be humiliated when this asinine spectacle of his is ridiculed by everyone in town, what kind of person would I be? A woman. A bitch. I got you. Yeah! What have I done? Ah! I knew smoking was bad, but, but I still sold my soul. And for what? Martha Stewart? Come on, kids. We gotta put a stop to this. Now! Oh, they're gonna call her a bitch! Say it! A bitch? <sighs> Finally. Oh, uh, oh, uh I can't even hate on that. Not enough monkeys in a room with a typewriter. They'll produce Shakespeare. Uh, let's see, a something by any other name. Hmm. Carnation, Peony. Hmm. Now they did that on last week's Marlowe. Oh. What about uh, Daisy? Oh, Chrysanthemum. Iris? Yeah. <laughs> Good shot! Made my brown eye blue with that one. Yeah, next one's coming for your head. Oh no! No help! Oh help! What the hell? Now is the winter of your discontent! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, get that nigga the business! Yeah, Ro Ro Did you say Rose? Yeah. Rose. Rose. Uh, <laughs> Rose by any other no, name. Now yeah, with the winter just continue. Alright, moving. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> hey, what about Tula? Rose is fine. Rose moving on. He really is. Right this way, everyone. Yo, yeah, this, Bless this would actually work. Father. It's God's wish, this my dear. This would work in real life. <laughs> it's God's oh, plan, nigga. Yeah. Hey, hey, I Wait. have more creativity in my whole body than most people do before 9 a.m. It's God's plan. The only plan. thing you create before 9 a.m. Oh, is God's exactly plan, what you dear. turn my show into. I think my Gosh. work will speak for itself. <laughs> that would be another skit we could do, man. Have like seven females come through. I'm acting like I'm a priest. Yes, my oh, dear. Ha, ha. I yes, just got you. that. A poop joke. It's real creative, Lois. Well, Hurricane Norman is beginning to pound Quahog. We now go live to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa for a look at how locals are dealing with the imminent disaster. Trisha? Diane, I'm hearing. Thank you, Yo! Trisha. Stay tuned for further. Ah! Yo! Diane, I'm standing here. <laughs> Bro. I'm smoking. You sure ain't got no, no, no chill, no. man. <laughs> You know, alcohol doesn't really make you warmer. In fact, it constricts the blood vessels, causing... Shut up. The dog just told me to shut up. I demand to know what you plan to do about this. Look at that! Wow. Yeah. Ah, 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 for the love of God, oh don't God, 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 God
Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Gotcha. You uh, see, kids? Natural disasters have their lighter sides, too. You just have to be creative. <gasps> hey, Meg! Oh, man, I love how these kids celebrate these days. <laughs> I told you. Out here that in the wilderness, call me Rooster <sighs> Cogburn. You know, Rooster, no. I was starting to think you didn't like me anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you pull out too far trying to get that power shot in, and you just break your whole shit, man. Ow. Yep. My pride. Be careful. Chris, look. Trax. Yep. There must be a deer around here. Well, those are snowmobiles. You trying to do the dragon drop. There he is. That's what they call it in uh, Deuce Bigelow. He's trying to do the dragon drop or the uh, the buffalo snow signal. You know? And that's what happened. Oh, such you know grace. Buffalo snow you ever acted that? before, honey? Huh? Well, I did an independent film in college. Uh, well. Detail by detail. Detail by detail. Well, well I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so, I mean, for, what the fuck is this? Why does this go with what I'm saying for some reason? Well, a buffalo snowsickle, was that what I called it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mom, I well, can't eat. it's obviously grossly apparent that. Ears. Okay, so what happened? Uh, no, they're like so, what you do is. Gray and jet um, Kid, You'll need at least some kind of animal. Doesn't have to be a buffalo. Forest. You know, but for this trick to work the best, it, you're going to need a, some sort of woolly uh, mammoth uh, type of there. animal. You know, buffaloes <laughs> have been shown to have the best results, yield the best results. Now the winners of the father-son three-legged race. So then you want to you want to you want to be somewhere where there's a lot of like it's been snowing, obviously. And then uh, either that, that or you can like cut a hole store. in your freezer huh, and put yourself favorite. through that way to get the the snow. Part. Open it, stop! Uh, Open it, I say! And and Sorry, then the Grandpa. sickle is is exactly uh, what it sounds you like. Might give that a minute yeah, I mean, you. that's, I that's where the uh, the urination you ever do it again, comes you'll into. Burn in hell. Yeah, I mean, oh, I do it every day. Sometimes twice. Mark my words, lad. You may think you're alone in there, but God's watching. Don't do it again. Shut the fuck God's up. God's watching me do number two. <laughs> I God, get God it. Watch people and your family it's gives terrible. you love. You should spend some time with our kids, Peter. And with me. Why would me? I do that? Well, well, what can me and you do together? <laughs> Lois, you've got a sick mind. Peter, I'm talking about making love. Oh. Oh, I thought you wanted us to murder man. the children and harvest I've their I've probably made love money. less well, than ten times in my entire in life, man. Hopefully less than one hand, probably less than five times. In this house. Here, Tom Selleck. Come on, down the hatch. Oh. Come on, you, hey, 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 none for you, Higgins. Trying to steal Tom Selleck's food. I be trying, no. I, I, I'm, I'm. No, you've had yours. Oh. Peter, come on, you've had a thousand years to get ready for this party. It always Ooh. takes him so long to get dressed. Peter, we're gonna be late for my cousin's wedding. Aren't you dressed yet? Motherfucker. Oh, crap. You nasty, well, one of us nasty is gonna have to bastard. change. Motherfucker what? <sighs> Unzip me. Thank goodness Peter bought a huge supply of dehydrated meals before the blast. Never wear a dress, man. Peter, what are you doing? You just ate a year's worth of food. Yeah, what a waste of money. I'm still hungry. Females will have your back if you wear a dress. Everyone leave. But they, they, won't, the they won't suck anything. No! You know what I'm saying? Isn't it a gorgeous day, Mr. Sun? It's always a nice day with two scoops of raisins, Peter. Two scoops! Where's your father? He's still down in the basement. <laughs> Peter, you've been down there all day. I hope you're all ready. Ah! Oh my god! The government is here! Run, E.T., run! Oh. Hey, Joe, can you keep an eye on the place? I might as well. I melted to the ground. There you go, Mr. Swanson. These ought to keep the rats away. Thanks, That's a good Thanks thing about the apocalypse. Is if you're really, really, really ugly as shit, you know what I mean, bruh? You, you, you can shine in an apocalypse. Bring it on! You know what I'm saying? Uh, excuse me, Mr. Mayor. We have an outsider who wishes to join our community. Welcome to my fair city. If you want to become a citizen, you have to get a job. Well, before the disaster, I was a physician. That's terrific. We need a doctor. We sure do. Let's hope you get it. Now pick a job out of the hat. <laughs> oh, village idiot. That's a good one. Oh, oh. Pat Sajak, don't. 
you hit him? Oh my god, I hit William Shatner. Oh, I knew that. Quiet. Growing dimmer. Can't breathe. Beam me up, God. <laughs> Whew, I did not see that coming. Nigga! Ah! Maybe we should have just let him be a doctor. <laughs> oh. These are the rules of Tunnel, Blue Mike, get him. Sorry, that's how everyone else Super got their jobs. Go! Oh. 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 You see, Doc, my back tooth is killing me. Bitch! Besides, without guns... You didn't pay your premium, nigga! How fathers have settled their differences? Eight, nine, ten, and turn! <laughs> That's Wouldn't it be funny to see two dudes really British. fighting like that? What the hell would we ever need guns <laughs> for? Victory is ours! Victory is ours! There are only hope! Oh. Yep. Scarecrow. You burn the guns, let's... Same goes for your heart, then, man. And Christy McNichol, come back to television. We miss you. Hey, Bob. Fuck I do. You remember the other day you were asking me what the definition of irony was, and I said... Ah! Morning. I watched Bobby, the show with him on it when I was younger. I dreamt I saw the strangest episode of Family Guy, and there was a giant chicken, and Stewie was an octopus. Hey, 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 hey. come on now. There's no giant chicken. All right, it's... everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna take off your clothes. You'll be more comfortable. What's Family Guy? Come on, Stewie. Don't you want to pee in a toilet bowl like a big boy? I remember when I learned to use a potty all by myself. I was so proud. Hey, Lois! I did it! Why don't you put your hands right there? Mm. It'll help me relax. Really? Okay, buddy. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Maybe you don't have to pee. Hey, I ought to just give you some beer. It goes right through you. Not On the phone, while nigger. we're at it, we can light up a doobie and watch porn. Mm. It, yeah? Oh, oh, really? and I want these and these and these. <laughs> Only ah! one. But, but that man over there got two. Peter, I don't care what the other men are getting. You're only getting one. I hate you. Hey, Brian. How you doing? Hey, let you out already? Peter, I was in a therapy session, not a lunatic asylum. Hey, 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 calm down. Lots of crazy people have gone on to lead normal, successful lives. Oh, boy. I don't know who that is. Never will figure it out. I wonder if dogs really do that. Like, no. Nah. Peter, it's great they picked your theme, but isn't it a little esoteric? Esoteric? Could it mean sexy? I think it's a science term. Fellas, fellas, esoteric means delicious. Nah. Lois, who's the boss is not a food? Swing and a miss. Whoops, whoa, 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 hang on, hang on. I gave you one of the ones with silverware in it. Take this one instead. That one's probably fine. Um, hold on, Meg, Meg, I'm, I'm sorry. That, that is a really boring story. <laughs> I haven't been this bored since that stupid drive-in movie. Oh. This sucks. My dad always says, measure twice, cut once. My daddy always said, Cleveland Jr., quit jumping on the bed. <laughs> we didn't measure! We didn't measure! Amazing, Peter. You've inspired the whole neighborhood to work together. You know what's really amazing, Brian? I haven't brushed my teeth in three days, and no one has said a thing. Nigga. I have no friends, and it's all because of this stupid purse. What did you do to my daughter? I swear to God, if you touched her, you don't want to spend your life wondering what could have been. Sir, I need a decision. Uh, 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 salad. No, no, wait, soup, soup! I always go for soup. It was too late. I always get soup. And to this day, I still lay awake at night wondering about the soup that got away. Man. I'm taking you for granted. Damn. Oh, get a room. I feel that way about this real well, bad female. It was lunchtime. It's Asian, man. I she love was the Asian. color of your Prada bag. Yeah, but Hawaiian. yours has that great class. She was black. Hey, Meg, you want to come to Puerto lunch? Rican, bro. Oh, you know she what? There's no room in my car for your this big ugly purse. This rapper's was trying to smash me. <laughs> it was like Meg, a let long me tell you about popularity. Ago. Mrs. Canner, are you coming? Bye. <laughs> well, Damn. it seems to have worked. Hey, I wasn't just blowing smoke when I bought this T-shirt. Well, you're the number one husband, too. I know. That's why I bought this T-shirt. Whoops. Yeah, our neighborhood hasn't been this united since Quagmire figured out how to get us free cable. 
Oh, we are right not there. bad people. We just don't want to pay $12 a month for Cinemax. You two go home. I can stay here as long as it takes. You'd be amazed how little you have to eat when your legs don't work. There's only one way to settle this. <gasps> Russian roulette. Three bullets, last guy standing, keeps the trophy. Me first. What? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. This is crazy. You first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's, there's, there's got to be a way for you all to enjoy the trophy. Here's to togetherness. Car, car, car. Yeah, come on. Oh, oh, yeah. Eat my gun. Come on, move it. Come on. Oh, man. <laughs> Chris, this place is great. Hey, pull over, you bastard. Wow, that's so much. Uh -huh. Yeah, Bruh, one time it almost got Tell me people deal. would not play that game. Virtual nose. behind the car. Oh, no, no. It would be viral oh, no. on Markiplier's <laughs> channel, bro. Oh, I'm, I I'm would sorry. watch I, that I, shit. No, that, that was good. I, I just I, I didn't think you were going to go so cartoony. Virtual with reality well, how, stuck behind how, how a bus. Oh, reason, I, I don't know. I was thinking of doing it. Hella you know, popular. Yep. Like, like an actor. It'd be like the second what coming of happy real friends. Happy happy wheels. Your son, but you're just a baby yourself. Henry, give the little skank a nice tip. What? 20 bucks. Welcome to Flappy's. Why don't you have a seat next to my little baby whose Debbie dad doesn't pay child support? <laughs> ha! Oh, God, I need help. <laughs> well, I guess now we know what kind of dog he is. A melancholy. <laughs> Nothing? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I, I, I should have said, I should have said, Chihuahua. <laughs> That's a little bit better than not better. I don't have to impress you <laughs> ah! play our games, right, and if they win enough impressive. tickets they get a prize <laughs> yo i'm gonna use that, ah! that enough? oh sorry i'm gonna drop Jimmy, two jokes i know suck and i ain't gonna impress you <laughs> oh wait what we're sorry timmy you need seven tickets to live wait what y'all can't do this who writes this shit i said i should have said chihuahua <laughs> i don't have to impress you the children get to play our games, and if they win enough tickets, they get a prize. I have 13 tickets now. Is that enough? Oh, sorry, Timmy, but you need 15 tickets to live. Nigga! Damn. I'm the cat in the view. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't you need 15 tickets? What? It was just carpet fresh. <laughs> Come on, yours, Chad. <laughs> I guess I'm not going to be here to see you become a man. Yes, I think we all know what that's going to be like. Oh, I'm... a 20 minute call to Larchmont? What do we know in Larchmont? My sister in law. Oh, yes, right, right. Carol. Yes, that's right. How is Carol? What's your name? Uh, my, my name? Uh, 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 P. Uh, 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 T. Uh, uh, Griffin. Yeah, yeah, Peter Griffin. Oh, please don't make me angry, pal. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. All right, Peter, that's enough. Bravo, Peter. You are the Spalding Gray of crap. Sorry, Doc. I, I don't usually let Peter talk me into this kind oh, of stuff. Wait down. a minute. Brian, you have a pre-existing relationship with this degenerate? A degenerate, am I? Well, you are a festigio. See? I, I can make up words, too, sister. You don't have any of those things. How do you know? Peter, face it. You're a terrible liar. Ah, it was you. You'll see a doctor tomorrow. And oh, I no, do no, that no. shit. I'm not gonna see a doctor, Lois. The healthiest thing we can do is just ignore this and pretend it doesn't exist, just like we do with the squid. Mm. Uh, uh, earthquake. Hey, yeah, truck going by. You're gonna have a tough time finding it. Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Someday. Give it to me straight, Doc. How long do I have? Mr. Griffin, I'd say you have about a month to live. <laughs> but hey, what the hell do I know? <laughs> I've been I've been sued by every patient I ever had. <laughs> Look at the size of this file. This is this <laughs> Wow. <laughs> uh, let's just wait for the test results. <sighs> Brian Stewie's birthday is gonna suck. The only stuff I could get on such short notice was a cake and that big ass pinata. <sighs> I sure hope candy comes out of that. <laughs> Dad, this doesn't help with Christmas. Yeah, we're screwed. Who's gonna decorate? Who's gonna cook Christmas dinner? Okay, calm down. Now, I know your mom's gone, and we're a little worried, but Daddy's got what? a plan. All right. Everybody go outside and kneel face first in front of Daddy's big pre-dug hole. Come on, ah! here we can do this. 
All right, plan B. I take two pills I got after my root canal and listen to records. It's been four days. None of these are good options. Take no pills, man. I can just escape this quarantine and make it to the next town. Hell I'll be able to get no. that vaccine I need. Stewie, I'm you from the future. Fuck around and end up like Lil Xan. You town before you get sick. You know what I mean? Yeah, you I see, that, you see what, what he's doing. doing. Okay, I'm really here because I know you have glue. Give me the glue. Oh, my God. Glue for what? Oh, no. <sighs> Stewie, listen to me. Never, ever do this great thing I love. Never do that thing. Well, I was gonna say, D ain't oh, never slipped no Brian, glue. have your pain meds kicked in yet? Hoy. Oh, yeah. One try, one time I did feel? snort oh, uh, yeah. uh, chopped up cereal. Where are you going? Hoy. Oh, yeah. As a prank. Huh, I wanna hoy, oh, yeah. Uh, it's three in the morning. What the hell are you guys doing? What does it look like? I knew when I was afraid. I knew I was afraid. So we another audition so tomorrow. Go, we're not over. gonna be embarrassed like we were today. See, this is the kind of thing I was talking Why about. Why is he wearing Look a, at him. He can uh, barely stand up. Thong? That's why I made this. I call it eight hour energy. It's one part five hour energy, and the other three hours are espresso, Scott's turf builder, and a tiny, tiny, super small amount of cocaine. Just a little bit. <sighs> Can't stress the littleness of it enough. Yep. Oh, they never can. Whoa, mama, there's a kick like a mule. Who will buy this wonderful morning? Such a sky you never did see. There he is. Really? There's the magic. Peter, you're giving your baby drugs to oh improve boy. his acting career? Oh, he's fine with it. Stewie, if you're fine with it, bleed from the nose. I think that's pretty close. <laughs> so, uh, Lois, where are your parents? Didn't they say they were coming? Yeah, but I'm sure Daddy had a last-minute work thing. He's always put business first. Even growing up, he never came to any of my piano recitals. It was the 80s, so he was always doing cocaine and sushi business meetings. All right, Hideki, it's a deal. Now let's celebrate the way rich guys do by... <laughs> God damn it, I snorted the wrong one. Ah, oh, wasabi! Wasabi in my nostril! Ugh. Oh, still better than sitting through that piano thing. <laughs> ah! Okay. That is messed uh, walk up. Walk through the house still and better make than sure going to my daughter's recital. Friendly. Okay, this is a problem right here, kind of in this whole area. Your front windows are west-facing. That's good. We'll make for very cozy afternoon sun naps. Still getting a pretty bad vibe from over here. Oh, boy. Lastly, catnip is a Class B narcotic. It is a drug. It is a drug. Yeah, we don't, we don't keep any of that stuff around. It mm. also means that this family is going to start going to church again on Sundays. Being there today reminded me of how important religious services are to the moral fiber of a family. And Sit lately, up, this family has been lacking moral fiber. Especially I'm you, down to go to church. I'm down Meg, to go to church. what happened to you? She can't answer you. She can't even talk. Ever since she started said, smoking pot, no she just kind of lays there. It's really sad. And a tiny bit funny. Oh my god, I think I'm getting a contact really? high. Oh, uh, no, I messed up too. I don't remember. Look, it'd just be temporary, Lois. Just for a bit. Just till we get the farm back on it. Come on, Rupert. Wait, wait till you see this. This is really something special. Check out how much water is in the dehumidifier. Wow. <laughs> that was all in the air. Ryan? Is that, is that, uh, is that, uh... You? Stewie, rearrange. Uets, rearrange. Weest, restore. Stewie, hey, come see what I've been working on. Oh. That's actually I call kind it of nice. Space Shire 7. Nice, Shire. nice. It's like, uh, it's like a fake uh, place you made? It's a medieval sci fi universe adaptable to TV, movies, toys, games, and mobile apps. I threw together a 2,000 page treatment last night, and I just figured the hell with it. Why not build a scale model and record voices for all the characters? Watch. Well, that's like what stranger. I do. Yeah. That's a Nebulon mage. He speaks Gabi, this dumb language I wrote. It's then illegal? What? Hello? <laughs> I wonder if drugs okay, really if do do stuff drugs, like that. anyone has drugs, it's high like school pills. kids under the bleachers. Hey, Daddy-O's, anyone want to blast off to Mars? Yeah, uh, what? Yeah, I've never what done What I'm saying is I'm anything. Lucy. Where's the sky with you know diamonds? Know Excuse me, ma'am. Are you lost? No, I want pills. Give me pills. Aren't you kids doing drugs on Nikia? No, we're picking up trash and organizing a Black Lives mm. Matter rally. Oh, how could you be so selfish? Hey, daddy -o. They don't have drugs. Later, alligators. Yeah, back when I was younger, 
Yeah, you know I mean? Excuse me. I have been I waiting for my all, prescription man. for 25 you know, minutes. Oh, sugar. I'm really sorry, Miss Dumont. Sherman we'll have that filled for you right away. Yeah, I'm saying, Guys, love boat. what the hell's going on I've back there? All. Remember, each pill you know? has to go into the correct bottle. By the time I, one day I woke up, man, I looked yeah, in the this mirror. This ain't so hard. And I didn't like what I saw no more, man. And yeah, I got that off from a movie. <laughs> one day I woke up. <laughs> Oh. I, I, I got a wicked boner. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Our top story, they were eating methamphetamine, like a is bunch causing of to Bluetooth cog in epidemic amounts and is believed to be originating from the nearby rural community of Farmton. Farmton, that's the name of the place we live. I forgot to mention that earlier. Aww. For more on the story, we now go live to Asian correspondent Trisha Takanawa. Tom, meth is fine. Everything's fine. Go back to your own business. Thanks, Trisha. She's doing fun things for me for money. Guys, I have ah! an announcement. I'm gonna run for mayor. That's a terrible idea. You idiot, Brian. Meg, fat on Brian. I used to sell weed when I was I younger. I have one in the chamber. Don't do it. One time I give you a chance, you're not it's ready. Trish, tag him for me. It's a dangerous job. It is not worth it. <laughs> See that kid? He's a gamer. Great job, Chris. Now go hit the showers. Meg, you miss 100% of the farts you don't take. That kid's going places. He's going all the way. But yeah, the reason why I quit selling weed, man, is because niggas kept trying to rob me, man. If only and, they And knew. what's even worse is they would tell me that they were gonna rob me before they would before they would go for it. Yeah, it's my boy. Oh, Rupert, like, I can't believe Taylor Swift is I got actually tired of going to be shit, in man. our house. I haven't been this excited since I abused those caffeine pills to get ready for the big show. Everything will be fine as long as I take one of these pills. You actually are taking drugs? Stewie, give me those. I can't, Zach. I need them to sing. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> scared. <laughs> <laughs> Screech is going to stab someone on Christmas. <laughs> I had a girl threaten her, oh. Peter, what are you doing? Well, you know how you told me to give up the 80s and find a whole <laughs> different decade to be into? No, that's not what Well, I... I'm doing the 1920s. Not because oh, of no. legal cocaine, but mostly because of legal cocaine. Oh. <laughs> Time to design a very stupid flying contraption. Cocaine plane. <laughs> My nigga said manifest destiny. Young man, where did you get this toad? It's not mine. <laughs> Relax, Stewie. The doctor gave me this so you can get some exercise. Boy, Stewie's more wound up than Dad was that time he took steroids. Peter, could you please pass the potato? <laughs> ah, damn it, Meg! Huh? <laughs> Bro. Fortnite that's, that's is actually my fun, man. Favorite picture of Brian over that there Peter on that wall. Whooping my he ass wants in to Fortnite. have sex with me so bad. What? He's <laughs> it, not, not gonna get to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We Note gotta yourself. give Lois a last minute edge. Guys? I need Note you to help yourself. out on the campaign. Oh, man, that's like making old, like, signs and walking around or what? You know, you bastards got a stake in this, too. I mean, Lois is my wife, and if she's the mayor, we can pretty much do whatever the hell we want. I could do cocaine if I wanted to. Peter, you want some potatoes? Yeah, how you doing? I, I was just asking if you wanted... We got enough napkins? Yeah, yeah, we got enough napkins. That's enough. That's enough right there. <sighs> what time is it? Is it, is it straight? Is that straight right there? Wait, 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 see, I'll fix it. No, no, is that straight? I, I, I can't. Is it, is it, is it, ah! Meg, sweep that up. Just get, 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 a, get a broom, sweep that up. Sweep that up. Put it in your room, but sweep it up first. All we need is one incriminating entry in the state book, and that's our ticket to. Oh, oh my hey, God. Hey, Brian, what's up? Uh, hi, uh, Lois. I mean, Peter. Brian, did you know this couch Too many was straight here? lines, man. It's so comfortable. Too many straight hey, lines. Hey, Lois, look how short Stewie is. They can really show this shit on He's television. He's so short. <laughs> oh, my God, he is short. <laughs> <laughs> You're nasty shit. Hey. Hey, Brian. 
He's knocking on the back door. What should I do? Motherfucker. What? He's knocking on the back door. Should I let him in? I'm scared. Well, uh, you two are busy being nude, so um, we'll just uh, head out and uh, yep. let you be nude. Should have been left. Hills? Man, I, I ain't never had no female help. really try to Lois give me pills. Lois is out of control. I mean, she's acting crazier than I did that time I tried ecstasy. Oh, my God. Oh, Brian, your fur is so soft. Oh, your ears. Your ears are like dog ears. Oh, this couch. Uh, I had a story I wanted to tell, man, but I, I can't doing? even tell it, man. Your head is so I mean, I smooth. Could, but how, how is that even? How, how are you doing that? I was about to tell that, that story about how the girl that I was that? hanging out with that. Oh. Everything white, here is white fantastic. Girl. And I didn't know she was doing it. Until she went to the bathroom like 10 times. Oh, these clothes. Like, Wait, what? Yeah, never do drugs. This is not, this, this is not worth it. This is, this, why, how is this a good advertisement for drugs? I don't want to ever do this. Great practice, Lois. We are totally ready for that talent show. Oh, my God, Peter. I am so wasted. All I want to do is make cookies. <gasps> oh, my God, I have a great idea. Let's make cookies. We don't have to, Lois. Look, there's a magical land of desserts right behind you. I'm never, I'm never going to see the magical dessert land. Nope. Never going to... Never gonna lick my child. Hell um. <laughs> what are they doing? What? Is that a real thing? Is that a thing? Okay, Mr. Griffin. Now you've got your flu shot. Will you stop giving That's good flu that you got it wrong. Though. We got a show to do. That's good. Oh, Quagmire. It's cool. It's cool. This is the doctor that killed Michael Jackson. Oh my god. Lois, you're right. Booze made me fall down all those stairs. Booze killed my father. Well, from this day forward, <laughs> I, Peter Griffin, will never drink again. Yep. No. Peter, what are you doing? Crack. What the f Hey, at least I'm not ah! drinking, Brian. Yeah, this isn't exactly a good substitute. Where'd you get crack? From Black's. What? Yeah, right behind Black's hardware store. There's a white guy selling it. Look, doing crack is not the way to stop drinking. Y you need to get to the heart of why you feel the need to drink in the first place. Look, here. This is the number of a hypnotherapist I want you to see. All right, Brian. Good. Hey, Peter, just thought I'd check on you. Oh, my God. Oh. Government came and took my baby. That's meth. That's actually meth. Like everything stupid in the 90s, Google, like, Google I, took off. I don't even want to. celebrated in grand.com bubble fashion by having an outrageous yacht party with lobster fights and hookers. Nothing we but bad hookers. Which hookers. was terrible for you and only ever made me feel fantastic. Kids, don't do it. It's too awesome. They said it would burn a hole in your brain, but show me the hole. Peter, that's enough. If you hate pure, unconditional love and experiencing the profound harmony of the universe, definitely do not try this drug. There's also like a 90% chance you'll hook up, but really, no, don't do it. Motherfuckers! You don't, you don't care, but you'll hook up, Gary. That's not a thing! Hey, Peter, let's move on. And what was the name of that drug? But yeah, don't, don't you, do drugs first, to get women. No, I'm this, not sure I can take much works, more of them think. living here. Well, Peter, you. I don't know. I could be wrong. I have no experience with doing drugs. I mean, what did he do? He, he got your hood ornament. If you ask me, it's time for him to go. Yeah, you're right. Plus, the sooner wow. we get him out of here, the sooner I can get back to my cocaine and dollhouses. I cannot believe they put that in the cartoon. You have a 90% chance of hooking up if you do pills. But yeah, don't do pills. Motherfucker, Dinner what? Dinner is served. <laughs> get out! It's just weird, Brian. It's a really funny joke, but I'm like, with the damn. Whole idea. Look, Lois, ever since marijuana was legalized, crime has gone down, productivity is up, and ratings for Doctor Who are through the roof. Yeah, but <laughs> Peter's so baked lately, he can hardly set up a cutaway. Man, this is even better than... Uh, no, wait. No, this is worse than... Uh, better... I don't know. Here's a list of celebrities I don't like. Andy Samberg. I like Andy Samberg. Kathy Griffin's actually pretty cool. Andy 
Andrew McCarthy, I don't know who the hell that is. David Arquette, I like him. Amy Winehouse, that bitch is. You knew what I was about to say, huh? Ain't that bitch dead? Amy Winehouse? Hi, Chris. Hello, Peter. You know, I was just thinking, when I was your age, my Uncle Roy shared a beer with me. I drank it, and I was so excited I fell asleep. I must have tossed and turned something fierce, because when I woke up, my pants were off. Never saw much of Uncle Roy after that. Turns out we weren't even related. Anyway, I thought him sharing that beer with me was the coolest thing ever. And I know nowadays things are different, so I got some crystal meth. I figured we could do it together as father and son. I don't know about that. Tell you what, I'll get us started. Motherfucker what? Ah, <sighs> that feels... That feels better. You sure that stuff is okay? All I know is the guys who made it are dead. Why is there no hole in this wall? <laughs> you know, this thing is oh. bugging me. Oh, shit! Yep. All right, I'm I've gonna take a hike. That. I have a... Oh, my God! You having a tea party? No, we're working out a land deal. Trapjaw is trying to get a variance to build an unpermitted structure within 10 feet of Optimus Prime's property line. Destro is the city councilman who's telling Trapjaw that he has to file it as an accessory structure, and even then it can only be built at the rear of the lot. And the Care Bear is just a Care Bear. I am so ready. Oh, shit. I suppose. But I don't think I can pull it off by myself. Will you come and just be nearby to give me tips and help me get through it? Fine. But I'll have to rearrange my schedule. Friday nights are when Peter and I do edibles and go to the aquarium. No. No. This is awesome. Peter, I'm freaking out. Yeah, don't, don't, don't ruin it for me. Oh, hey, Stewie. Hey, sometimes when daddies drive home drunk, they come from far away places, but it's okay because they didn't get arrested and they're still kind of drunk, so they, they think it's okay. You should know that Mom has emotionally let you go. It won't be long before she takes a lover. Oh, my uh. head. She already has two cell phones. Oh, uh. my God, I... Shit. I married a hooker? You got two married? cell phones. She's oh, already right, getting busted. bachelor down, party. Bro. Come on, Don't back to trip. Boston. <laughs> Ain't even that big of a deal. Oh, oh, damn it. I guess we're not going. Oh. Hey, Stewie, here's five bucks. Get naked. I'd like to welcome our new co-anchor, Joyce Kinney. Welcome, Joyce. Thanks, Tom. Wow, you sound crazy nervous. In local news, there was a hit and run by a drunk driver today at Quahog Park. Two children are missing. <gasps> I was just there. Well, everything looks fine. He says that with a beer in his hand. <laughs> All right, family, line up for cigar burns. Oh. Ah! Damn. Uh. That nigga pimping, pimping. Ow! They actually showed up. Ah! Uh. Uh. Wait a minute, who are you? I'm your other son, Macorba. Here for my cigar burn, good sir. Stewie, go on, get out of here, you stupid laughing cry, effing cry. What's the difference? <laughs> hey, look, what's wrong with Peter? Oh, my God. What the oh, hell? You smell that? He's passed out drunk. Does no one in this house have any dignity? Hey, Lois, I'm home from the clam and I'm horny. What? <laughs> oh! Oh, nigga! Wait! like reverse time did that kid a favor. I'm not so sure about that. Stand up! You're gonna break that thermometer! As we say in Ireland, let's oh, drink whoa, until whoa. the alcohol in our system destroys you know what type our of livers and kills you us. Talking about? Yeah. I got 20 on the fat one. I've never Which had my temperature one? taken that way. <laughs> and I never will. <laughs> you know what I mean? You guys can kill me. Most Americans are probably Yeah, that's real. In fact, what you got to over there? And I will. Barely. <laughs> Barely. 
My God, I think I see the Fishmans. They're down on that ridge. We're ahead of them. Well, then let's keep moving. You guys, we you can ever do seen, this. Um, we can beat them. That one meme, P.O.P. holding it down. Hey, you know, I heard when you drink at high you altitude, it hits you even yeah. faster. P.O.P. Woo, party! Oh, I love you down. guys. You don't know how much you hate ah. me. You think you're I better than me? Why can't just you like hit a chick? curveball? I've done nothing with my life. She had a white okay, coffee. Okay, Joe, Joe, you're drunk. <laughs> okay, you're drunk. Give me your keys. And and I'm drunk. I wonder if I drinking is re is really that fun. Okay, now we're both. I, I've, I've never been out. drunk. I've only been drunk once. It's, yeah, it's not. I've it's only been fun. drunk once. It's fun while you're drunk. You've been drinking the night. All I did, Anua. I didn't get a hangover. I didn't drink enough to, to get a hangover. My wine. Okay, oh, I'm gonna need you to step all I did out of the was car and walk a straight line. Please. Saying stupid shit. All right, you're ruining safe, whatever sir. situations I had going with women. Like I had this one ugly chick set up. Yeah, it was Boy, going great, sure right? Has changed since part -time it was a sure thing. Over. So this is where you'll be working, Mr. Griffin. I go to her oh, dorm room and at college, and her employees roommates are, are all there. Free I was so drunk. We just ask that you don't drink uh, during the shift. I immediately tried to bone her hotter friend. Sir. Great. Well, I'll be right back with your ID badge. And can you believe the ugly chick had the nerve to get mad at me for trying to bone Mr. her hotter Griffin, friend? what happened to your pants? I'm like, oh, bitch, what if I brought you over my house and LeBron James was playing PS5 on my couch? You son of a bitch. You see what I'm saying? That, Why do you nigga. close your eyes when we make love? Damn. <laughs> yep. Hey, look, even the bartender's low deaf. Hey, what can I get you, fellas? Hey, what do you say we that? get some shots? <laughs> let's Bro. get wasted! Over, yeah, over, good let's at get that, wicked man. bomb! Over Sorry, pal, over we already man. have an intense wheelchair really guy. Well, hold on, hold on. Like What's your name, friend? Super duper Peter. Peter. Yeah, we already got a wheelchair you. guy. Damn. Why haven't I seen any of this? What? Really? Oh. Nigga. I've, I've set all that shit on fire, nigga. I said, yep, throw up, nigga. All that feminism shit. That shit is dumb. Feminism is ruining bitches, bro. I mean, well, it don't ruin bitches. It don't ruin it for me, but it make it make it hard as fuck for them. She dumped him. Now she's dumped because she has a large ship. I mean, that's. Yeah. Huh? I wonder how your father's first day at work went. Dad, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, uh, yeah. Hey, buddy. Uh, I have a triple cheeseburger and a large fries, and uh, you sell pants. Hey, Meg, what's with all the beer cans? Oh, my dad got a job at the brewery, and he gets lots of free beer. Actually, he's kind of been going overboard lately. Oh, my God. Hey, Meg, you see my pants? <gasps> oh, Lois, by the way, we're out of toilet paper. <laughs> you gonna sit your shitty ass right on the bitch? You bastard! How the hell can you be cheating on me? I'm the one who made you popular! <laughs> no, Connie. Beating up that Jewish kid made me popular. Come on, girls! Let's go upstairs and make out! Oh, <laughs> oh. oh no! Connie's been hurt! Yeah. I guess I should lie on top of her to keep her warm. What are you looking at? It's a cartoon! So, what are your hobbies, Chris? Masturbating. We should form a club. Oh. All right, name something you find in your bathroom. Me masturbating. Mother All right, show me him masturbating. You dirty mother. Are that. you sure you're a you real priest? Yeah, yeah, I can vouch for him. He's real. He's molested me many, many times. What? Uh, sorry I'm late. I was busy doing um innocent, non-molesty things. Come on, oh, we boy. gotta get back. The cameramen think we're taking Chris to shocker practice. <laughs> we're gonna be late. Why won't you talk to me? I'm trying to make love to you when you're thinking about Chris. Peter, is there something you need to tell me? Thanks to you, our son has a huge wang. Thanks to me? Well, he didn't get it from me. Please leave the light off, Lois. I don't want to be seen right now. I imagine you wouldn't, the way you've been acting. I thought you might say something like that. Well, you do have it coming. Anyway, I convinced Meg to go to the dance, so I'm going to go drop her off. Please don't yell, Lois. I've learned my lesson. I wasn't yelling. I was just saying... Oh, that... you would bring that up. Can't you leave the past where it belongs? Peter, what's wrong with oh, you? Because I've already explained that to you. It was a scavenger hunt. What the hell is going on here? 
Lois, if you still haven't discovered I'm gone, there. please flip the tape over to side B. Name something you sit in. Chair. Try again. Shoes. Big chair. No, that's the same thing. Try again. High chair. That's still a chair. Chair. Say something other than chair. What if I can't think of anything? You can pass. How do I pass? Just say it. Say what? Say pass. Chair. Yeah, Stewie, I gotta go. Oh, wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Did I tell you about that over there? Stewie, I can't physically see what you're pointing at. I'm getting off now. Bye. Well, you're lost, Brian. That thing over there is pretty interesting. Oh. Huh? An alien in a grass skirt juggling torches. Might yeah. Some I've seen off American Dad. Uh, you're all done. Or Futurama. Yeah. I'm gonna have to give you a full cavity search. Drop your pants. What? No! Uh, Peter, you don't have to pull your pants down. Oh, sorry, I'm still learning. All right, start the search. Oh. Here's the cheese. At least there's not a rat in there. Good burger. Well. I think that's everything. You want me to double check? That's not baking powder. It's sneezing powder. <laughs> but I already brought a whole batch to the church bake sale. <laughs> no wonder that priest kept saying, bless you. <laughs> oh, good. This is a man who believes the plural of goose is sheep. Isn't it? Oh, shit. Well, the lipstick is not bulletproof. We know that now. For humans. Sing a man's touch low these many months. And I've been missing a woman's touch. Oh, God. Brian, Brian, it's me, Stewie. Oh, my God, that was hilarious. You really fell for it. Morning, Mr. Griffin. Nice day. Well, it's a little cloudy. It's absolutely cloudy. One of the worst days I've seen in years. So, good news about the Yankees. I hate the Yankees. Pack of cheaters. That's what they are. I love your tie. I hate this tie. It's awful. It's gaudy. It's got to go. And I hate myself. I hate you, too. You make me sick, you fat sack of crap. But I'm the president. The best there is. But you just said you hated me. But not you, the president the you who said you hated you you who love hate yankees clouds karina yes you have a visitor who is it oh, it's that nice girl julie from your show oh julie did she say what she wanted just go see for yourself i'm not your secretary karina why are you so cruel to me is it because i'm the pretty one the talented one? Oh, for god's sakes you know we're all sick of you that's right all of us can i poop in here no, no. oh shit too late what? So, Dustin, it's been a while. I gotta say, you look great. Are you trying to seduce me, Mr. Tucker? I am not trying to seduce you, Dustin Hoffman. You really look great. Uh-oh. Talk minutes to Wapner. Yes, I understand your hectic schedule. Well, Dustin, we really appreciate you taking the time to be with us here in the studio. If there's anything I can ever do for you... Bring me Peter Pan! <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for him. Thanks, Dustin. Shh, Chris, look! Tracks. There must be a deer around here. What? Well, those are snowmobile tracks. Shh! There he is! Yep, got his ass. Ah, oh. oh, such great. Peter, you don't know how badly I need this. I don't know, Bonnie. It's it's just a little weird. Joe's a friend of mine. No, it, it's okay. I promise you, it's okay. I'm not sure. It's okay, Peter. It's really like this. So how's this work? You just feel my pulse? It's so not like this. <laughs> What the hell was that? that? Mr. Griffin, that's a prostate exam. Shut up! You had your finger in my ass! How do I know if I'm Jewish? Are you Jewish? No. There you go, sport. Thank you! It's an opportunity to come up with our own names. I'm Tomax, and this is Zamot. We're twins who can feel each other's pain. Ow! No, Brian, I'm supposed to say ow. You ruin everything. Ow. Now, Peter, this is your silverware. You see, this is your fork, and this is a knife. That's not a knife. That's a knife. This is also a knife. Oh. Well, I'll be on my way. I want to see more of him and then suddenly none of him. Forever. <gasps> Look, it's dancing with me. It's like there's this incredibly benevolent force that wants me to know there's no reason to be afraid. Sometimes there's so much beauty in the world it makes my heart burst. It's just some trash blowing in the wind! Do you have any idea how complicated your circulatory system is? Hey, look, Lois, there are three of them. Just like us. Yep. And, uh... Oh. <laughs> um... <laughs> sweet. 
I forget how to make love. Shh, 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 that's okay. I'll show you. Just follow my lead. So fuck. Do the FFCC. Intercourse over the airway. What do you say? I don't know. Oh, come on. I'll even cripple that guy who rapes you in the shower. But I like that guy. Too late. Oh. Oh, oh my legs! Two things never happened again after that. Boggs never walked again. And Andy's farts never made a sound again. I'm sorry, that's, um... That's never happened to me before. Which part? The eight seconds of sex or the 40 minutes of crying? Uh, I guess both. Watch what happens when Scott Bale well, tries to say seconds. she sells seashells down by the seashore. What does your mom do for a living? Uh, she sells seashells down by the seashore. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of a tongue twister. West Side Story, anything goes. West Side Story, anything goes. Two of my favorite Broadway shows. Two of my favorite Broadway shows. Miss Saigon and Cabaret. Miss Saigon and Cabaret. Overrated, I should say. Overrated, I should say. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So, how's it hanging? Ah, uh, okay. Hey, what you got here? Oh, Maxim. That Jessica Beale sure is a cutie. You were masturbating when I came in. Yeah. So, how's it hanging? Get out! Gotcha. Rehabilitated? It's just a stupid made-up word. So boys like you can sit behind a desk, wear a fancy suit, and feel important. You're a jerk. And I had sex with your mother last night. And I swear to God, you let me out of here, first thing I'm gonna do is kill again. Oh man, this is even more intense than that time I forgot how to sit down. I wonder where that fish did go. A fish, a fish, a fishy, oh. And this is our Fox News fish? Daycare Center. Where are all the kids? Sorry, a lot of the children aren't here today because their parents have the day off for Martin Luther King Day. Isn't that in January? Oh no, at Fox News we celebrate the day he was shot. Hold it, you two. Aren't you a little old to be drinking illegally? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lois, look over there! Run! What do you see here, Chris? Two Ds and an F. No more balloon for you! I am sick of you tooling around the village in that thing, honking at the girls, blasting your 1980s American rock music that we got here last week. But, Father... Go to your palace. <laughs> Go to your palace. Hey, you still awake, Lois, honey? Dad? That's oh, right. I'm your daddy. Shh, 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 shh. Don't talk, Lois. Don't talk. Just let me do all the work. Yeah. Now feel my warm breath on the nape of your neck. You ain't gonna my fight hands back. on your big soft boobs running down your big man like. Ch Holy crap! It's Chris. Uh, uh, so, uh, how you doing? You know what I am back at the ranch? I'm a breeding bull. What? 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 what what's that? You gonna find out? Huh? Where you going, fatty? We gonna have a party? <laughs> Hey, that's Journey. Kick ass! Howard! <laughs> that is Journey. It's good to meet you, Mr. and Mrs. Griffin. Well, we wanted to talk to you about our son. You see, Chris really... Lois, oh, no, 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 Lois, honey, let's uh, make sure we do this delicately, all right? Mrs. Lockhart, our son would like to plow you. I had a feeling that's what was going on. Sorry, our, our son can sometimes be a boob. I mean, a melon. I mean, a, a sopping wet she pair of breasts barely covered by a racing t-shirt. Peter! Now, say, tell me in your next movie, we get to see your butt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, yes, you do. Can, can we see it right now? Mm. Disgusting. Well, uh, <laughs> all right, Hitler. Oh, oh, he's going to do it! If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like tickets to Hitler, call 213. <laughs> Wow, I didn't know it really looked like that. Oh, neither did I. Such oh. lovely printing, too. My name's Brian. I was born here. 
I'm sorry, son. Lots of dogs been born here. Refresh my memory. Which one were you again? I was the one who could talk. Brian! Smoking is a horrible vice. It shortens life expectancy and pollutes our air. And according to recent polls, air is good. Air is good. Cigarettes killed my father yep. and raped my mother. Yep, How's real. your oatmeal, honey? You know, it tastes kind of different than usual. Oh. oh my god, there's a bear in my oatmeal! So tell me, is there any tread left on the tires at all? Or at this point, would it be like throwing a hot dog down a hallway? The next award is for best original score in an adult film, and the nominees are Ron Jones and John Williams. P.S. Your vagina's in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I crap my pants. <laughs> it's funny when it happens to other people. Oh. Everyone's had to yeah, do that That's walk. the end of those underwears. I didn't know what to do, so I took them off and hummed them at the wall, and they started sliding down like one of them sticky octopuses. Well, it's a pretty funny joke, you know, when you think about it. Your vagina's in the sink. <laughs> Damn it! You make the Pope look like a fool. God will make you pay. Smite them! Nope. Is you cooking or something up? Why don't you just lay back and relax? Loosen up them trousers. Motherfucker! Now feel the air between them toes. Feel a gentle wind blowing the hair on them legs. Freezing up on through the rest of your body. Through your private areas. Through your anus. I'll punch you in your Now let's go mouth. back in your mind to your childhood. I'll punch you in your To some of mouth. your deepest memories. Maybe some that aren't so happy. You know, the anus has the second highest density of nerve endings in the body. Ghost that never lies, did you witness the events that took place on that fateful day? You did. Well, how interesting. Ghost. And uh, do you see the culprit or culprits in this Nigga. courtroom today? You do? Yeah. Well, would you kindly point him or them out for this court? Don't point at me, you jackass! Next up, stay tuned for our special investigative report on the clitoris. Nature's Rubik's Cube. No. Is he telling it? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! Fuck you guys! Well, if we're gonna hide out here in Asian Town, we have to find a place to live. Yes, and we should do nothing to draw attention to ourselves as outsiders. Oh my god, it's Jackie Chan! Oh my god, it's Jackie Chan! Oh my god, it's Jackie Chan! Hi there, always nice to meet a fan of my movies. Oh my god, you're Ethan Hawke! Uh, no I'm not. Sorry, my mistake. Oh my god, it's Ethan Hawke! Mom, can we go get some food? Oh my god, there's Malcolm in middle! I'm not a boy! Yes, you are. I remember when I became a man. The operation was a success. What are you going to go by now? Peter. Oh, damn. I say, I seem to have sewn a shoe to my hand. May I go to the nurse? Replace him! Ah! It's like that ah! day, day labor ready play, plays a too. Faster! I work so, basically, you can eat from any tree you want except this one. Can we sit underneath it? You know, I would just not go near it at all. Nothing else has worked so far. So I'll wish upon a star. Wondrous dancing speck of light. I need a Jew. Excellent. As soon as I release this biological toxin into the world's water supply, I will rule the world. I'll call it Lou Gehrig's disease. Oh. I just have to remember to make sure this cap is screwed on tight. Well, I guess the joke's on me. I'm, I'm not seeing anything about German history between 1939 and 1945. There's just a big gap. Everyone was on vacation. <laughs> okay, uh, l l let me just go ahead and stop you right there. Y you sound terrible, all right? Y you're doing this thing, which is just, uh, you know, what, what the hell is that? I mean... Hey, and, and you look like if I touched you, you'd be sticky, and frankly, you smell bad. You're pretty much offensive to all five senses. That's only four. Well, uh, actually, you know when you smell something and it gets stuck in there and you can sort of taste it? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm tasting you right now, and it tastes awful. Truly disgusting, like salty garbage. Yeah, I totally taste it. Oh, Is God. everybody at Daddy's company? You bet. Are you out of your mind? Keep it up, Lois. I might fire you. You wouldn't. Does the name Lacey Chabert mean anything to you? Okay, I'll behave. Yes, you will. Look, Peter, all I'm saying is those guys have been with Daddy for years. Uh, how are you supposed to run that company without them? That's it, Lois. You're fired. Chris, you are now Meg's mother. <laughs> Ooh, Peter, your muscles are so muscly. 
I am gonna plow you so hard later. What are you Ashley doing? Simpson. I had this happen to be on stage something. one time. If you're gonna be a TV producer, you've gotta be open to collaboration. So everybody just gets to stick their big chef spoon into my comedy gumbo, eh? What a no deal! You know something? I like your passion. Okay, we'll do the show, and we'll do it your way. No. Well, that was a miscalculation. Sir, we have a best man giving a toast at a wedding, and he is just bombing. Put it up on the screen. Jim's, Jim's so clumsy, it's like he's got two <clears throat> left feet and left hands. Permission to go to the bride is a whore file, sir. Permission granted. Anyway, if Sheila was a road sign, it would read Open Trench. <laughs> Please go out with me. I'm just trying to make Neil jealous. I promise I'll pay and everything. Yeah, uh, that sounds cool, but I'm gonna be in the hospital that night. Oh! 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 This messed up is still bone that guy before she bones the First question, guy. who's the biggest, toughest guy in this house? Well, I don't like to toot my own horn, but I believe I hold the distinction of... <laughs> My house now, bitch. Now who's the funniest? I know my way around a joke. Oh. Oh. For God's oh. sake, Dad, have some humility. It'll save your life. Wow, it looks like Michael Jackson's coming right at me. Oh. What is that smell? It's my poop bucket. What the hell? I'm used to going to the bathroom in my room. That's disgusting. Shit. No, you use the toilet here like everyone else. No. Ah, oh, God, it smells horrible. Well, can you at least empty it each time you use it? I like to fill it up. I'm not making a million trips. Oh my god, are you using my shirts as toilet paper? Yeah, and I think I might need some right now. Get out now or stay and get weird. Your call, warden. Though by many they're abhorred, Hebrew people I've adored, Even though they killed my lord, I need a juice. Let that out. Yeah, let that out. Yeah, do that. Hey, Meg, what are you going to take those for? soda cans to the Shaw Skank Redemption Center? <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Oh, this is one fine day to be Let's nude. Leave alone now. Yeah, this is one fine day to be nude. The birds are saying, Clinton, have a wonderful spring. And people walking by can stop and look at my thing. Oh, this is one fine day to be Emerald Jobby Chaser! Oh, <laughs> well, if you can't laugh at yourself. Punch yourself in the face. <laughs> Punch yourself in the face. <laughs> All right, he doesn't know what he's doing. You fat, so punch your baby in the face. Mr. President, I present to you Peter Griffin. <laughs> you got your poison? Mm. Okay, one, two, three. You, you didn't do it! You didn't do it either! Okay, okay, all right, well, this time we really have to do it. Oh, okay, all right, you ready? Okay. Okay, okay. One, One two... two. Oh. Ah! Oh, yeah. uh. You want me to kill myself and you're not going to! You suck! You suck! You suck! Oh, good morning, honey. That feels really good. Uh, do, what, what? Hey, hey, hey! What the hell? You're not the same giraffe from last night! Get out of here! How can you tell the difference? What the hell? No, 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 no! I gotta stop taking my baths during Peter's shenanigans. Hi, my name's Max Weinstein. My car just broke down. May I use your phone? Now my troubles are all through my hair. Hey! Hey, I'm gonna eat y'all. 
I'm gonna eat that hairy leg. I'm gonna eat that one too. Hope I can see right up them shorts. I got a whole bunch of rows of teeth to chew you with. Dinah, Dinah, Dinah. Oh, now, wait a minute. I did have a chubby kid on a raft earlier today. It's okay, though. I've been swimming a lot lately. Mmm, yummy, mmm. You know, sometimes I feel like someone should just crucify Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth. Nazareth. Oh, my God. God! Shut up! No, you shut up! I'm Judas! Pontius! This is so weird, because just today I was thinking about how I wanted to find the Son of God and nail him to some wood. Well, let's go find him and kick his ass. That sounds swell. I'm a super huge mega lesbian. Oh, good. You'll fit in with the other mega lesbians. My heart's on fire. Hail Vira. Giddy up, boom, pa, boom, pa, pa, mow, mow. Giddy up, boom, pa, boom, pa, pa, mow, mow. A bit of breaking news. A local family is forced out of their home by ghosts. Who are they going to call? <sighs> Ghostbusters, Tom? No, Diane. They're insurance company. That's just stupid what you said. Huh. Didn't realize Greenberg was a Jedi name. Oh, hey, Jillian. Congratulations on your upcoming nuptials. Oh, are they showing? Oh, it's a really thin bra. What? Well, Derek, that's... Pretty good French you speak there. He also speaks orange. Mandarin, honey. Mandolin. All this singing is contagious. I'll sing too. Adam West, Adam West. A little bit softer now. Adam West, Adam West. Adam West, Adam West. I'll come out when they're all gone. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Now, what are your thoughts on a wedding singer? Oh, I thought that maybe I would just DJ the wedding myself. I already made a playlist on this. A box of Junior Mints? This isn't an iPod? Your Junior Mints play MP3s? My iPod is chocolate? Well, be that as it may or not be that, I was thinking I could be your wedding singer. We now return to The Ghost Whisperer. I don't understand. Why do all you ghosts come to me? You're, you're really... I mean, you, you have a knack for... We, we, we just trust you. Men, form up Cripple Tron! <laughs> Never form up Cri Cripple Tron, man. Nobody puts baby in a corner. I do, because I'm her father and she's 16. What are you, like 38? 41. No. No! Oh my god, so Grandma Hebrewberg is actually Jewish? Yes. When she moved to America, her family changed their name. It was originally Hebrewberg Money Grabber. Meg's as cool as the other side of the pillow. <gasps> Billy D. Williams! Hello, Peter. Welcome to the cool side of the pillow. You've had a hard day. Rest that weary head of yours and drift on off to dreamland. <sighs> Works every time. Blah, 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 blah. Lincoln assassinated. Blah, blah, blah. Tragedy for our republic. Uh, oh, look! Ably performed by the entire ensemble. That's us! <gasps> That's, That's all of us! All right. The doctor will be in in a few minutes. What? The police are gone? Oh, my God! We're finally safe! <laughs> Casper, go long. Oh, sorry about that, man. Are you dead? Yeah, whatever. I was gonna off myself on Tuesday anyway. Yeah, this Judaism thing is gonna be better than I thought. All right, class. That's all for today's lesson. Now everyone off to gym class. All right, today we're gonna play soccer. Accounts. Huh, that was easy. Oh, this is an even bigger jackpot than when the Emperor figured out the formula for great Star Wars dialogue.
something, something, something dark side. Something, something, something complete. Hey, Chris, you want to practice kissing again? I'm busy. I set up a video camera last night so I can prove to mom and dad that the evil monkey is real and I want to see what I got. Oh, uh -huh. that's the worst of living with pranksters. Jews are gross, Lois. It's the only religion with the word ew in it. Oh, boy. Still his wallet? Wow. Huh, nothing. Wow, deodorant! Are you sure I'm old enough? Oh, I think so. I'm gonna make you a little less gross every day. Well, here he is. The evil monkey. Do you believe me now? Holy crap! It is real. Oh my god! I thought I was the only one. Meg, we're do we're doing we're doing Chris's monkey. Oh my god, you've missed so much! Like when America was attacked by mentally challenged suicide bombers. Allahu Akbar! How can you not like me? Okay, I'll tell you. You are the worst person I know. You constantly hit on your best friend's wife. The man pays for your food and rescued you from certain death, and this is how you repay him? And to add insult to injury, you defecate all over his yard. Peter, how are we gonna get past the guard? Lois, I think I just got an idea. You see that guy with the overcoat? He's tall enough for us to sneak in behind him. Come on. Ugh, look, there's Brody Jenner. God, what a douchebag. I can't oh. believe that came out of Bruce Jenner's vagina. Bruce Jenner is a man. No, Brian. That's what the press would have you believe, but he's not. Bruce Jenner is a woman. An elegant, beautiful Dutch woman. Uh, okay, so, uh, you're free to go. But we're cool, right? I've been reading up on things that sound sexy. Oh, Brian, I can't wait till after dinner, because then we'll go home and you can watch me have my period. What the hell's wrong with you? That's not sexy. Catholicism and Judaism are not that different. They're two sides of the same coin. In fact, the Last Supper, one of the most iconic images of the Catholic faith, was a Passover Seder. And if I'm not mistaken, Islam is also in that same spiritual family. Uh, let's not muddy things up here. And what really bothers me is you pretend you're this deep guy who loves women for their souls when all you do is date bimbos. Yeah, I date women for their bodies, but at least I'm honest about it. I don't buy them a copy of Catcher in the Rye and then lecture them with some seventh grade interpretation of how Holden Caulfield is some profound intellectual. He wasn't. He was a spoiled brat. And that's why you like him so much. He's you. God, you're pretentious. And you delude yourself by thinking you're some great writer, even though you're terrible. You know, I should have known Cheryl Teagues didn't write me that note. She would have known there's no A in the word definite. Hey, Juice, uh, is it all right if I call you Juice? Great. Uh, listen, I was wondering if you could give me a little advice on how to murder a woman and get away with it. Oh, cool. Look at that. Hey, Chris, go long. Ah! Ah! Touchdown! Good grief. Damn. O.J. Simpson has moved to Quahog. We don't have footage of the murder itself, but we can show you what happened thanks to this reenactment by the Quahog Opera Company. I love you, Nicole, but I must confess to some trepidation, for I am a lonely waiter who loves a last sub of a station. You look like rappers, but you're not black, so that's the perfect amount of danger. I'll join your darts game. How do we know you're any good? My husband draws me. Nicole, I'm back from filming the third Naked Gun movie. Oh, horror, you have betrayed me. Al Cowling said it would be so. Kato, I didn't see a thing. And I think what I hate most about you is your textbook liberal agenda, how we should legalize pot, man, how big business is crushing the underclass, how homelessness is the biggest tragedy in America. Well, what have you done to help? I work down at the soup kitchen, Brian. Never seen you down there. You want to help? Grab a ladle. Oh, it's you. Um, I'm not in right now. Please leave a message. Beep. Oh, man, I hate these things. 
Uh, yeah, hi, this is Peter Griffin. Uh, I'm sorry I missed you. Uh... Peter, play with this. Look, sir, I have reviewed this contract, and it offers no coverage at all. It just says volcano insurance over and over again. And down here in small print, it says he's signing it, he's signing it. I can't believe it. I like wrote in to town to on an ass. Yo mama's ass. But maybe... Put your head between these two restrained logs and win a free hat. Well, that's a no-brainer. Come on, you fat fuck. Do it. <laughs> Who's laughing now? I got my hat. The kingdom of God is inside you. At least it will be in a second. Driving a Prius doesn't make you Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, you don't believe in Jesus Christ, or any religion for that matter, because religion is for idiots. Well, who the hell are you to talk down to anyone? You failed college twice, which isn't nearly as bad as your failure as a father. How's that son of yours you never see? We don't want you in our town, Simpson. We don't love you like we did in 1993. Don't! And as for you, OJ, we don't want you here either. <laughs> Her airway's jammed. Come on now, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I need some gravitational help. Oh no, her clothes are constricting, as are mine. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, Jerome. You saved my life. Um, I'll have what she's having. What does the discovery of this black hole mean to you and your research? I am overjoyed. This is the crowning achievement of my career. It validates the work of a lifetime. It certainly does. Back to you, Tom. All right, we're clear. I'm telling you, man, this shtick is getting so old. That chair smells, dude. Hey, Steve, surf's up! Bitchin! See ya, Ching Chong. The. Dog. And. My. Mom. And. This. Handkerchief. And. Twenty. Birds. And. Peter! Jeez! And... Peter, hang on a sec. You're not contributing. I'm doing it. You're not adding information. Well, one of you guys says Thanksgiving. I got a good idea where to go with it. But since we're all gonna die, there's one more secret I feel I have to share with you. I did not care for the Godfather. What? Did not care for the Godfather. Uh, how can you even say that, Dad? Didn't like, didn't like it. Peter, it's so good. It's this, like the perfect movie. I, this is what everyone always says. Whenever they say, oh, Robert my... De Niro, Al Pacino. I, I mean, you listen. never see... Robert Duvall! I, no, I, no, fine, fine actor. Did not like the movie. You're just a big, sad, alcoholic bore. <sighs> I'll see you, Brian. Thanks for the fucking steak. Oh. I'm gonna get myself kicked out. Just like I got kicked out of Coldplay. <laughs> guys, guys, I got an idea. How about we do a song that's not whiny bullshit? You know, when you talk, you sound a lot like my father-in-law, Carter Pewterschmidt. Oh, that's funny. He's a patient of mine. Here's my urine sample, doctor. Thank you, Mr. Pewterschmidt. Oh, hi, Peter. You know, Peter says we sound alike. Really? I don't hear it. Actually, I think I do hear it now. Really? Yeah, you know, we've never really had any extended interaction, so I've never noticed it. Hey, I think I hear it, too. Seems lazy, doesn't it? Well, there's only so many voices in the world. Some of them are bound to be similar. Fuck. Chris, watch your language. No, that's how you say seal in French. Fuck! He's right, Lois, look. And here, I'll help you remember. What's this? A lazy fuck. Good. Uh -huh. Dumb fuck. Stupid Good. fuck. Sick fuck. Good. Sick twisted fuck. Good. Cluster fuck. Ugly fucking bitch. Wow, those are the Russian people? I mean, granted, you do think of bears on unicycles when you think of the Russian people, but they're all bears on unicycles? Bears on unicycles, everyone. So what do we do now? We're undercover U.S. agents in a hostile foreign territory. We just gotta make sure we don't do anything that makes us stick out. Hey, they're not bears on unicycles! You are under arrest! Oh, time to lose this costume. Because <laughs> we're in Russia! We especially don't like the way you hump that chair in the den. Well, Rupert seems to like my humping. Oh. What did you say? Rupert humped him for two hours yesterday. He just laid there and took it. Did he? Yeah. And now every time you're sleeping with him, he's going to be thinking of me.
all life on Earth will be destroyed within 24 hours. Oh my God! Mom, is, is this for real? Well, it sure looks that way, sweetie. It's the end of the world. Holy crap! Seems like I've run out of waiting time. I remember that day like it was yesterday. I'd gotten a haircut earlier that day, the first one I ever got over there that looked like anything. So all of a sudden, we get these orders. And of course, it's the day of all days I have to put on a helmet. I remember the sky was a majestic orange. The breeze was just warm enough that you could wear short sleeves, but, you know, not so warm that you break any kind of a sweat. Because let me tell Big you... Gay fuck. Big gay fuck. Big gay fuck, yeah. You got a nice wiggle, baby. You want to be in a movie, huh? A little girl-girl action, maybe? Oh, Peter! <laughs> Good luck, buddy. I've been barking up that tree for 17 years. Your word is lesbians. Can you use it in a sentence? The two lesbians are going shopping. Can you use it in a dirty sentence? The two lesbians are going shopping for double-headed marital aids. To him. Wait! Can you use it in a libelous sentence? Gillian Anderson and Helen Hunt are lesbians. L-E-S-B-I-A-N-S. -E Correct! <laughs> Are you gay, Dad? No, Glenn, I'm not gay. Just, just tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. Now calm down, you're ruining this ball. You know how much I love balls. All right, come on now, that's not helping. Son, you have my word, I am not gay. You promise? I promise. All right, I believe you. But I am a woman trapped in a man's body. And while I'm in Quahog, I plan to have a sex change operation. Oh, come on, just be gay. Hello, everybody. This is Montecor. He's my lion. I have a lion now. Peter, what the hell? You know, I went to the zoo last week and asked if I could do it, and they told me to scram. Went to the zoo this morning with a shotgun, and now I have a lion. Does it bite? Of course it bites. It's a lion. I don't know how to tell you this, Mr. Devaney, so I'll let these guys do it. You have AIDS. Yes, you have AIDS. I hate to tell you, boy, that you have AIDS. You got the AIDS. You may have caught it when you stuck that filthy needle in here. Or maybe all that unprotected sex put you here. It isn't clear, but what, what we're certain of is you have AIDS. Yes, you have AIDS. Not HIV, but full-blown AIDS. Wow, that thing was on there. How is he, Doc? Is he all right? No, I'm afraid not. But she's going to be just fine. Oh, my God. Peter, where are you going? Last day on Earth, last chance to do this. I'm going into the inner city, and I'm going to yell the N-word. <sighs> they respected me for saying it. No, we didn't. You know, we no, you are in people. a hotel. And I'm in room 406. Go on ahead, I'll settle up. Put it on 406. Quagmire's father, decorated war hero, Lieutenant Commander Dan Quagmire, is now a woman. You're kidding. No, nope, total sex change. Oh, that is hysterical. I know. There is no just cause for an invasion of Iraq. Well, that may be. But what we're all forgetting is, anyone who doesn't want to go to war is gay. I want to go to war. Oh, yes, 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 we should definitely go. Yes, we should go. Totally go. I was the go first one who wanted to go to war. Be sure that you see that this is not HIV. But full-blown AIDS. Not HIV, but really full-blown AIDS. I'm sorry, I wish it was something less serious. But it's AIDS, you've got the Man, what, what do we call him now? We, we still call him Dan? No, and I'm not crazy about the name change. What is it, like Danielle or Dana? No, Ida. myself for missing that topless cheerleader parade with a hundred foot chocolate teddy bear and the F-16s doing aerial acrobatics choreographed to the music of Queen. Oh, I remember that day. Huh. Should have gone to that thing. We're gonna build a new settlement. We'll have a happy new life and we'll have equal rights for all. Except blacks, Asians, Hispanics, Jews, gays, women, Muslims. 
Um, everybody who's not a white man. Oh. And I mean white, white. So no Italians, no Polish, just people from Ireland, England, and Scotland. But only certain parts of Scotland and Ireland. Just full-blooded whites. No, you know what? Not even whites. Nobody gets any rights. Ah, <sighs> America. <laughs> You blame him? You can't blame him. Ah! Oh, what? What the hell? What's wrong with you? I had sex with her! What? I had sex with her at the Marriott! Oh, why? I didn't know! I didn't know it was her! Oh my god! Ah! 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 Merry Christmas, buddy. Huh. Wonder what this could be. Oh. Well, it appears I've been fired. Well, as long as I'm no longer working here, let me tell you something. You know what really grinds my gears? You, America. Fuck you! Hmm. Ah, how did these get up here? You know, we've had a lot of laughs tonight, but I'll tell you what's not funny. Killing strippers. Strippers are people, too. Naked people who may be willing to pleasure you for a price you negotiate later behind the curtain at a VIP room. Besides, there's no need to kill them, because most of them are already dead inside. Oh, boy. Good night, everyone. You ever see a yellow-headed warbler? That's the only warbler I haven't what is seen. A yellow not for long, warbler. it's not. I, it sounded like a... Don't answer that. We're eating. They're probably eating. Sounded well, that's like something. something else. You're in scared. a book club? Those are tough to get into. What? Well, I didn't even know the fine young cannibals were still together. Eight city tour. Well, I don't know if I can make eight, but I can certainly do six. What about Lois? She's totally out of the picture. We've done everything but sign the papers. Oh, Stewie, it's so nice to finally have someone to do naughty things with. Definitely. All right, I made a wallet bomb and I planted it on Mort. As soon as he opens it, boom! Boy, you don't get stars like this back in Quahog, do you, Pete? Stop calling me Pete. I know what'll cheer you up. Skits! Skits, 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 skits. What the hell is skits, 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 skits? Oh, bloody hell, how do you go two weeks without opening your wallet? Yeah, he's been out to dinner like four times. We're clearly not going to get him this way. Samantha, Samantha, I will see you in Binghamton. And now I want you to go and take a picture of yourself because it will be your last day alone. Jeez, what's not clear about Get Lost? <laughs> By the way, my attendance at home is going to be spotty over the next few weeks. And, well, really? Prius Pumpkin from the county fair, that's why I'm naming you my chief of police. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have a fun camp competition. And the first event, worth five points, is a race down to the lake right now! Last one there is a stinky poo-poo egg. Come on, Dad! I trust you'll take care of things here in my absence. <laughs> oh! Officer down! <laughs> Are you eating an apple with a knife? I trust you'll take God, care of things It's always so forced. Absence. Thanks, Uncle Herbert. I don't know how I could ever repay you. Well, there is one thing. <laughs> <laughs> also, if I gave you a sandwich, do you think you could get Chris to fart on it? Hold on. We've been here already. Yeah, she's right. Really? That's where I graffitied that rock. The fuck? More please, John Mayer. We've changed our minds. We're going on record. At least it didn't say more please, Mayor. Jeffrey Epstein. What? Hey, oh. Carol. I almost didn't recognize you without my special sauce all over your face. <laughs> what? The exhaust shaft is only two meters wide, so you'll have to use proton torpedoes. Well, that's impossible, even for a computer. It's not impossible. I used to bullseye womp rats in my T-16 back home. They're not much bigger than two meters. Hey, uh, can I, can I, can I talk to you privately for a second? Sure. Hey, how was a bachelorette? Was she a dumb bimbo, like you said? But 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 with a big rack? <laughs> Come on in and tell me everything. I bet your stories will make me laugh so hard I shoot milk out of my nose. Uh, Peter, this is Brooke, the bachelorette. She's uh, having dinner with us tonight. I, I cannot this stand with you these ago. guys. <laughs> they get no they get no play from women, Tucker, so they try to ruin it for everyone else. Still searching for the culprits in a series of horrific acts of destruction all across. Scroll down, guys. The globe. That could have fit on there. There was a long space at the end of that line. What's the problem? Well, you, you just kind of called me out in front of everybody back there. I, mean, I was would... just making a point. I know, I know, but you, like, just kind of sandbagged me oh, in front of everyone oh, we know. sandbagged you? In front of all of our friends, yeah. You sandbagged I me. I sandbagged you. You sandbagged me, well, yes. Well, here I am trying to help you, you, you with know what, something that... You know what? I don't need your kind of help, all right? Have a great assault, jerk. Dad, will understand. you help him? Shh, I've been waiting for this. I knew it was fake. 
Dad, I'm sorry. I didn't... I'm not Dad! I'm Quagmire! Glenn Quagmire! Giggity f giggity! <laughs> ah! God, it's you, isn't it? It's you and Penelope who've been doing all these horrible things. So, I've always been about world fuck. domination. The hell did you think Sit I was talking about when I said victory shall fuck. be mine? You have not said that in a very long Damn. time. Well, I'm back on it. Oh, you know, Lois, this movie has helped me understand a lot of things. Giggity like that foreign giggity. guy at work who helped me understand sarcasm. <laughs> nice day we're having. Oh, yes! What? He said nice day, but he covered with rain. I'm saying she's a bad influence on you and you should this stop spending good. time he, with her. This guy's good. He clips it out. I do no such thing. When it's Penelope is wonderful. We're going to be together forever. Who is? What? Well, Rupert, this is a big mess. What the hell were you doing talking to him? So? So he said it's when your brain no, it's not really nice day. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, he said the opposite. It's funny. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I get it. Uh, nice day. Oh, ho, ho. now you funny too. Go long, Eddie. Go long. Further, further. Ah, life sure was crazy growing up in Brooklyn. We had some real characters in my neighborhood, like Frank the Mailman. Hey, Mark. The ants for your ant farm came today. I hope I'm allowed to do this. My mommy says don't run with scissors. <laughs> She's so cute. I love children. Look at my kids. So everyone feel free to browse and purchase from our fine selection. Hey, Mom, now would be a good time to raise my allowance. <laughs> oh. You know, Penelope, maybe we don't have to kill someone every day. There are other things to do. Like what? I don't know. I, you know what? Forget it. I, I think Brian just got in my head a bit, that's all. Brian? Why, what did Brian say? <laughs> and my friend Lonnie, that knucklehead. Yo, Marky, let's play some b-ball. B-ball. <laughs> that's what we called it. B-ball. And my grandma. Boy, was she something else. Hey, Marky, don't forget to take your Nigga, your whole oil. family sounded like Red Fox? Uh, nothing. Just thinks the you're comedian? a bad influence on me. <laughs> Th all of thinks them? I should stop seeing you. He does. How dare he? Babe, babe, don't worry about it, all right? Great job. God, what a piece of self-indulgent crap. All the characters sounded exactly the same. Great show, Mark. Yeah, you really captured me perfectly. Me too, Marky. You are so talented. Oh! Do you, do you love me? More than anything. Then swear on that love that you'll do what I ask. Motherfucker, Just name what? It. Kill him. Kill Brian for me. Boobies! Chris, that's enough. Well, I'm sure glad to be out of there. You said it, Lois. What those people are doing just ain't natural. Boobies! Did you hear me, young man? I don't know what the big deal was. I thought they were nice. Boobies! Peter. Do it. Did you have fun at the circus today, Chris? Elephants are bigger in person. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> Who could forget that one? Hi, I'm the mayor of comedy, here to tell you about a new CD offer, sitcom punchlines of the 80s, including such gems as... I think it's time for plan B. Oh. Smooth move, x lax Ooh. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to reconsider. Shit. Brian, we want you... Yes! ...off the stage. Oh. Your young friend there would make a perfect addition to the school's rising star program. Oh, splendid! Oh. God, yeah. I can't kill Brian. Even for Penelope. Ooh. He's my dog. My friend. Y'all can't hear these well, cracks, man. Wonder what oh, my words are gonna come out of this pen so today. Good. All right, I can do oh, this. My God. And that went well. That also, would... check please. Ooh. Plus, open mouth, insert foot, oh. and wait. If you are here, why would then I that put my foot in her mouth? Oh boy. Why would I not put my other Order now and thing receive sounds of, of the 80s studio I audience, have other which includes that trouble I brewing. Could put into her mouth. I've decided why would I I'm making my, my own chick flick. What? what? You don't know anything about making movies. Are you kidding? I got lots of experience in the film industry. I was the original pretty woman. You look beautiful. Motherfucker, but what? Missing. Ew, bitch. <laughs> Ew. I'm so sorry, Brian. Penelope told me I had to kill you because you said we should break up, but I couldn't bring myself to do it, so then she said she was going to kill you and... Uh, this... this is not for you. That was weird. What was he doing? As well as sweet moments. <laughs> and, of Ooh, course, girl. ethnic kiss. Uh <laughs> This is an offer you don't want to miss. But don't take my word for it. Hear what 80s mainstay Howard Hessman has to say Why about he it. Just like I the love Mexican it. Would Howard man? Hessman lie for weed? Yes. We don't think so. Order no! Strong women always turn out to be nightmares. Like Joan of Arc. 
Hey guys, I'm not like other girls. I kill people and burp and watch so much porn. Isn't that cool? No. I like a lot of goofball comedies that other chicks don't like. Hi, Jillian. Hi, I don't like Brian. goofball comedies Ready to go? either. Hey, baby. Motherfucker, Hi, what? What the hell are you doing? Eh, not much, really. That's Just me and the pubes. That's nasty business hey, right there, man. You know. Oh, dear God. Boy, I am so beat from doing adult dog stuff hair. all day. So Blue am I. Blue beer balls. My favorite thing to play is dog stuff. Look me up. I'm Guitar Girl 76. She was doing Let's doggy style was the dog stuff I she was doing. I love steak. Other girls don't. I'm actually more like a dude. Hey, guys. No, I don't, don't like Don't come in my room. Girls. I might be rubbing one in. What? Okay, uh, Stewie, how about you and, uh, let's see, one of our veterans, um, Olivia. I'm not doing a scene with him. He's inexperienced. He'll drag my whole performance down. Are you serious? Nowhere near as far down is your bad color scheme of your you outfit, are bitch. You weakest link. Goodbye. Over there dressed like two <laughs> mismatched starburst stuff, this bitch. Oh, gosh, that's funny. That's really funny. Do you, do you write your own material? Do you? Because that is so fresh. Oh. <gasps> oh, no! <gasps> Oh, why were you there? One year old. I think I can handle this myself. Oh, shit! Damn! All right, Stewie, tag in. Damn, All right, Joe, nigga. let's lose the wheelchair and shoot nigga, this thing. Don't. Peter, I can't lose the wheelchair. I need it to move. Okay, yeah, but your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film and action. Joe, get out of the damn chair. You know, I've, I've never heard anyone make that joke before. Mm, you're the first. I've never heard anyone reference, reference that outside the program before. Because that, that's what she says on the show, right? Isn't it? You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Chris, get the cattle pride. Ah! Okay, now give him some peanut butter so we can make it look like he's talking. Well, that was the worst piece of crap I've ever seen. Uh, oh, my I'll God, that was an abomination. Yeah, sure. That oh, was my, awful. 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 my ass is actually sore. Awful. My ass is actually <laughs> sore. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yet you have taken that and, and used it out of context Fuck. to insult me in this everyday Damn. situation. God, what a clever, smart Damn. girl you must be to come up with, with a joke like that all by yourself. Shit. That's so fresh, too. Shit I got and dead. my top hat and cane and a pocket full of miracles. Boo, pocket full nigga. of miracles. Pocket Boo, full Boo of this man. Miracles. Somebody get a hook. This is worse than Susicle. Where's the no, prostitutes? No, wait, wait. I was about to do this thing. That's not prostitution. <laughs> oh. Yep. Just... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That, that was um, me farting by, by Chopin. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I guess it might be okay. Sure, Lois. I mean, look at Elroy Jetson. He was a child actor, and he turned out just fine. You oh. know who I am? I'm Elroy Jetson. Yeah, yeah. Come back when you have some money. Take him home, Bam Bam. Bam Bam. Hey, babe, what do you say? We going out Saturday night? Stewie, what are you doing here? I told you I'm just into a different type of guy. Oh, yeah? I'll tell you what you're into. Being ugly. Stewie, you're being mean. So, Olivia, beautiful day. You're not gonna fart again, are you? <laughs> well, I'd love to stay in chat, but you're a total bitch. <laughs> No, if I was being mean when you opened the door, I would have said, Oh, hey, Radio, this nigga, you're not, you're not gonna fart again, are you? Oh, wait, you're Olivia. You see, I thought you were Ray Liotta because nigga. your skin has the texture of a decorative Bro, autumn that's squash. A nigga. I'm dead. So, I'll pick you up at seven. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, that works. I, heard that. I mean, I, I don't, you don't really want to do that. Only to oh, the hey, baddest I females. Didn't notice you, you there. Know what I mean? but you know, it's not easy living with my family. Regular, regular chicks, you don't want to do that are. type of stuff, too. Like you know my mean? father. Holy crap, Lewis. Check out the freaking log in the toilet. Get off the stage! <laughs> oh. I, Stewie, take you, Olivia, to be my lawfully wedded wife. What's that, Rupert? Oh, kiss the bride. Yes. What am I going to do? What are we going to do? Look, our evaluation's tomorrow. You need someone to work with, and, well, I need someone to make me look good. I don't know. Well, fine. Refuse my offer. Get booted out of this place and wind up like Linda Evans. Linda Evans, we have a spill in aisle nine. Linda Evans, spill in aisle nine. 
Hi, honey. I'm home. Hi, sweetie. How was your day? Well, I was an astronaut for a while, then I was a cowboy, and then all afternoon I was a fireman, so it's been, uh, it's been a long one. Niggas, you a stripper? Uh, what's for dinner? Play-Doh spaghetti. Is this nigga a stripper? Oh. What? No, no, it's, it's nothing. Just had Play-Doh spaghetti last night. Watch this. Are you watching? Is that nigga stripping? That's for me ever having doubted you. A plus. And that's for you wearing purple pants with blue socks. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I totally called him on it. That's funny. Some days I think it was easier being Cubert's roommate. God, it's all night with this guy. Hey, if you're gonna leave all those lights on, I'm not gonna split the electric bill. Uh, listen, are, are you gonna be all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Is that smoke? <gasps> <gasps> Idea for a farce. Cheating wife and Papa's ass burned alive. <laughs> like oh. I told you before, kid. I can't book you without Olivia. But, but that's the good news. We're back together. She's right here. Hi, Bernie. Glad to be back. Ask Stewie about his sexy parties. <laughs> Ask Stewie about his sexy parties. What were you thinking? I was just trying to... I'm not speaking to you. But Stewie... Shut up! I guess, I guess the best advice I got was from Marty Scorsese. Um, I, you know, I was having a problem understanding why I'd be taking abuse from this, this lower-ranking officer played by Chris O'Donnell. And, 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 he, and he told me, you don't have to understand it. Your character does. Oh, that always stuck with me. Hey, uh, how you doing, kid? Are you from Wardrobe? No, no, it's me, Brian. I brought what you wanted, but they, they wouldn't let me leave it, so, uh... Hit it once. Please. Just once. Uh, oh, my God, I was flat. All right, then. Help me up. Let's go home. Hey, thanks for saving my life. Uh, it was the least I could do. Obviously, it turns out you were right about Penelope. You okay? I will be. I will be, babe. Oh, hey, Meg. What have you been up to? Everybody, I got bad news. We've been canceled. Oh, no. Call me, Peter, babe, how did they do Mitty? that? Well, unfortunately, Lois, there's just no more room Ugh. on the schedule. We've just got to accept the fact that Fox has to make room for terrific shows like Dark Angel... Titus, undeclared, action, that 80s show. Oh my god, the Wi Fi is out. Oh, shit. Everyone, calm down. I know how we'll get through this. This is the story of the greatest all about trilogy how ever told. My life got flipped, ducks. turned upside down. And I'd like um, to take your minute. Grizzly? Just sit right Who's there. Steve. What? Oh, there's a message on the machine from somebody named Steve. Oh, yeah, Steve. Um, he's uh, new to the mountain. I met him down at the general store. He makes canoes. Wonder Falls, Fast Lane, Andy Richter controls the universe, Skin, Girls Club, Cracking Up, The Pits, Firefly, Get Real, Freaky Links, Wanda at Large, Costello, The Lone Gunman. How come I've never met him? Mm, he hasn't really been here that long. Long enough to get your number! Ben! Ben! <laughs> Why don't you tell us how you and Mom Shit. fell in love and got married? Shit. In go the earbuds. Terrific episode idea, Meg. Well, it was the 1990s. The decade of Viagra, but also Lorena Bobbitt. So it was what? kind of a yay-boo period for penises. After graduating, your mom and me moved to the city with all our friends. Right. A minute with Stan Hooper, Normal Ohio, Pasadena, Harsh Realm, Keen Eddie, The Street, American Embassy, Cedric the Entertainer, The Tick, Louie, and Greg the Bunny. Is there no hope? Well, I suppose if all those shows go down the tubes, we might have a shot. Jolly Farm. Can't believe you still watch this crap. Man, how can you still watch this? Huh? <laughs> Huh? You know, I can tell you've already been drinking, and I, I just don't want to engage. I lived with my best friends, Quagmire and Cleveland. We were the kind of friends who were all good-looking, except for David Schwimmer. And your mom lived across the hall with her friends, Bonnie and, uh, Bonnie. God, we desperately need to get more female characters in this show. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> hey, 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 stop it. Stop it. Okay. Okay? Okay. Hey, what's up, Pete? Long time no see. Gosh, Patty, the years have been great to you. Well, I owe that to my better half. Who is it, sir? I know two females uh, who look just Angie? like that. Peter? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, come in. Guys, I've got big news. 
tell them, Quagmire. I got a promotion at Blockbuster. <gasps> oh. Glennard Quagmire, that is ah, fantastic. They're doing news. friends. I love friends. Uh, I've seen like me, seven I'm Mel episodes. Gibson here for the key to my specially reserved room. You're Mel Gibson? Yes, I've put on a few pounds for my next role. I play Peter Griffin, a heroic warrior who defied the English to free England from the English. Oh, Peter, I have been waiting for this moment for 25 years. I haven't washed my hands since you last touched it. Oh, my God, that's disgusting. <laughs> and look, look, I've left the toilet just as it was the night we went to prom. It's the little piece of you that's kept your memory alive. But now I have you back. Perk Place. Where we would all sweat like crazy, because everyone in the 90s wore turtlenecks, vests, and Jamiroquai hats. Lois, you look down. What's wrong? Brad Pitt broke up with me in a pretty public way. I just don't know if I'll ever date again. Oh, well, at least I still have you. You hungry? Motherfucker! Hey, Lois Griffin, you naughty girl. <laughs> damn, That's bitch! Me. You dirty hustler. God damn! <laughs> you filthy, Bruh, Peter prostitute. Uh, okay, I get it. Bruh, you Peter must have made her the hardest shit for her to be. Street walking hard. All right, Treating this poop enough. like that. Oh, I Amy, love poop. you want to go somewhere and grab a coffee? Sure, I get off at two. Great, uh, great. Uh, I'll meet you here. Hey, <laughs> you did it. All right. Hey, who knows? You might even, uh, you know. Go swimming inside of a helicopter and then break dance? I'm not following you. In a course. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless had arms and legs? Chris, I'm not sure you have the green light to just chime in whenever. Lois, let's go take a midnight swim at Shark Bite Cove. Oh, sounds wonderful, Seamus, but I have other plans. Okay, well... I'm definitely going. Oh. No. Uh, it's good to have land. Oh, um, Peter, I'm just uh, uh, gonna go out for a few hours. Uh, so I I'll return in a few hours. <laughs> yeah, I'll do what? it when this is over. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lois, can you grab me a beer? Lois? A family of four lost their lives when their minivan swerved off the road and into a ravine, exploding on impact. <laughs> Do you find this funny, Tom? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I was remembering I, I accidentally put my shirt on inside out this morning. <laughs> it, it's fine now, though. So, so, so what, what were you saying about a, 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 a fashion show? Dad, I think she went out. All right, then you'll be Lois. Okay. Hey, Lois, can you grab me a beer? Oh, my God, you really let yourself go. Well, maybe if you bought me some nice clothes once in a while. My last show was a Weezer concert. Well, that's because everyone smokes nowadays. What band did we see last time at the Palladium? It was, uh, Blur. Yeah, I can't remember either. It was a very confusing oh. time in music. Well, I, I don't know what to do. I mean, I, I don't really know that much about any kinky stuff. I mean, I, I could hook this car battery up to my nipples. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, God. Ow, 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 ow. Just doing it for you. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, boy, Peter, is why it? don't you admit it? You still got the hots for Lois. It's obvious. Nah, we're broken up. We're just friends now. Never do nipple stuff Looking on yourself. Looking back, I realize he was right. In front of a woman. Oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> it never goes good. Yeah, you sure did. What the hell is this? It's the new police surveillance van. We're going on a beer run. Want to join us? Nah, I quit drinking. You're just throwing it in your face. Alcoholic. Once oh, my God. Man. <laughs> Fooled yeah. Come on, let's go drink till we can't feel feelings anymore. Oh, kids, you don't need to do anything special for our anniversary. Just your father. Okay. I hope he doesn't wait and get your gift at the last minute again. My goodness, a human thumb. Where did you ever find this? It was on eBay. Yep. <laughs> I just found mine. Oh, God, call Amazon. an ambulance. Okay, there we go. What'd you do for a living, Dad? What any of us did never really mattered. It was just vague business. But despite having broken up, I would sometimes sneak away to the Internet to go flirt with your mom. Well, I'm going to go move my bangs with my pinky in front of the mirror. What? This year, instead of exchanging gifts, I told him it'd be nice if we could just spend a romantic day together. Oh, dear. I think we all know what that means. Boy, oy, 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 oy. Gross. All right, let me handle this. You were going 65, fella. That's 10 miles over the... Why are you holding that infant's hand? Uh, we met on the internet. Shut up. Oh. He lured me down to the park with promises of candy and funny stories. Officer, you ever hear of that super industrial adhesive? Actually, yes, we have. Welcome. Shh, 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 shh. 
You've got mail. Okay, good, but quiet. You've got mail porn. Shh, shh, shh. Peter, quit trying to flirt with that clearly girlfriend of yours and come watch Giant Box TV with us. We all watched The X-Files, which would be Fox's last hit show. You know, Brian, if I choose to make stool in my pants right now, you're the only one here to change me. What do you think of that? Mm hmm I'm not gonna change you. What? I said I'm not gonna change you. Well, you can't be serious. Well, what if, what if I make a fudgy? Well, I just won't. I just won't, that's all. I just won't. Blast, I just did! I'm in. Oh. Uh, Peter, tomorrow's your anniversary. Ah, oh, crap. If Lois finds out I'm ditching her to play golf, she'll hit me with a frying pan. Which is why I'm gonna drink this frying pan antidote. <laughs> all right, hit me with this. <laughs> Didn't work. Brian! Chris just picked his nose and he keeps touching me with his finger. What good is mining nose gold if I can't share it with the townspeople? And it was you the heyday of the multi-camera sitcom. And Paul Reiser, its king, was must-see. Perhaps I'll try this yogurt. That's been in there since our wedding. Uh, perhaps I won't. <laughs> What's up, Lucy? Suspect! Suspect! You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, let me try. Cleveland, don't! Much better than that time I experimented ah! with gene splicing. Shit! Uh, Lois, quick question. Do we have any Tylenol? Screw you, Peter. Not today. <laughs> oh, wow! Ah! Danger! He's got a gun! Oh, ow! Ow! Oh, yep. ow! There he is. No, really, I have a boyfriend. His name is Anthony. Well, Meg, if you're telling us the truth, I just hope to God he's an improvement over the last one. Thanks, Mrs. Griffin. That was delicious. You're welcome, Justin. It was a pleasure to meet you. Come on, I'll take you home. Okay, babe. Oh. So, did you no enjoy bad, your Mama pesto man. with pesto? Does this smile give you your answer? He ain't got no legs. <gasps> oh, God blast it! Will you hold it for five seconds? Okay. Lois, there's something I want to ask you. Will you marry me? Oh, Peter, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I'm already engaged to Tom Tucker. There's a little girl down in that well. Oh, oh my God. Unfortunately, nobody's arms are long enough to reach her, except that one guy, but he's helping that woman tickle a midget in a tree. <laughs> Tee hee. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Tee hee. <laughs> now let's grip it and rip it. The Fed is going to be lowering rates, so get your money out of T-bills and put it all into waffles. Tasty waffles with lots of syrup. Waffles! Buy waffles! 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 I wonder if some parts are really like that. fan mail, Karina. Oh, careful, Sam. You're emptying your sack all over me. Wow. Watch. Is your king to be? King to be forever, <laughs> a king who'll do whatever. Dad, how can we keep looking at the door? Oh, Meg, you and your drugs. Huh, I wonder who that could be. Peter Gifford. <gasps> my God, Dora, my old girlfriend. Listen, I'm late for an appointment. You don't want to follow procedure? Fine, stay here in limbo. No, 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 wait, wait. I, I don't want to be in limbo. Oh. Is your king to be? Thanks, Holly. Good afternoon, Lois. I'm Tom Tucker, your king to be. In other news, President Clinton sent me a congratulatory cigar, but it's a little moist. What a surprise that you would want to look me up. You always thought I was so handsome. Peter, can I see you in the other room? Yeah, go, say it. Say Should it. I? Yeah, I, I, I can't. I, I, oh, just, just, just say it. it. Just say it. Um, how far can you get this banana to... I can't say it. She's looking right at me. Oh. Hang on, I'll fix it. Oh, oh my God, is oh. he dead? I, I think he might be dead. Oh, Check did you hear that? Noah Wiley here thinks he might be dead. Step aside, Junior. No, nah, he's just knocked out. Damn, I drove all the way out here. Again, Peter, it's your mixtape, but you've got Cotton Eye Joe as song number two, number four, seven, and eight. Hey, you think it should be number three as well? No! I made it number three as well. 
Oh, Peter, I gotta say, the fourth and fifth time I heard Cotton Eye Joe, it really got to me. What's Mom doing? I'll tell you what she's doing. She's screwing up my 6-2 Quinella. Damn it! Blackie, tell the boys in Kansas City the bet's off. Too late, Stewie. The fix is in and the noodles are boiling in the pot. Boiling, I tell you! Ah, I had to cancel another appointment. I never like to be too far away from Mike Wallace. Tell the world about us! I plan to, but then I found a half-eaten hot dog that only had a little bit of sand on it. And most of the sand was very brushable. You can pretty much wash a hot dog with soap and water, and you can still eat it. No. Hello? Hey, Lois, is Peter there? Oh, uh, hi, Quagmire. Now Peter's not home. We're, uh... We're having some minor marital problems. Our therapist has advised us to date other people. Hey, Lois, you want to go out? Hey, Jeff. I got a favor to ask you. Could you let me go back in time and be 18 again? What, are you high? No. Coming up next on ESPN, women's professional... All right, you win. Let's go. Oh, Susie, thank God you're all right. Wait a minute, this isn't my little girl. Ah! Hey, that was my wife! Oh. Tee -hee. Tee -hee. Well, I don't know, Glenn. Peter and I just separated. I feel like I need more time. How about now? What? Well, well, we are supposed to see other people, and I, I guess it's better to go out with you than some sex pervert. I'm in! <laughs> she said wood. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> wood! Wood! <laughs> You're right. Wood! <laughs> <laughs> Slap me five. Slap me ten. Round the side. And back again. Up high. Down low. Yo, Mr. Griffin, how'd you feel to be a bachelor on the prowl once again? Eh, it's not as great as you might think. I guess I just don't have the same way with women that I used to. <coughs> oh, my God. That was nice. That was nice. I, I had a really great time with you today, beautiful stranger. Oh. Lois, get in here. Meg's boyfriend. But there's, there's nothing wrong with him. Mom, where's my... <gasps> Quagmire, get over here. You gotta see this. Now over by the diving board. Now on the other side of the pool. Why? All right, now I want you to meet me at this address in an hour, and we'll slap five there. Then afterwards, we'll hit the bars. That sounds good to me. You should try a video dating service, Peter. That's how Muriel and I met. Let me show you more tape. He was so charming. Ah! Oh, my eyes. Mm -hmm. Could you please turn down that very bright light? It's burning my redness. Oh, ladies, I'm a very desperate man. <laughs> ah! He seems to be completely normal. Oh. We are gonna raise more hell than Hellraiser. Hey, honey, you want some salt for your steak? Yeah, sure. Ah, <laughs> gotcha. That's more salt than you wanted. Goo -goo. Pissed right on this plate. Goo goo. Ga ga goo. Ge ge goo. Go go go. Keep saying baby words, Peter. You're onto something. We're close. We're circling it. Goo goo ga ga. Oo oo go. Oo e oo ah. Moments later, we'd found a business idea destined to change the tech world forever. Oh, boy, we're gonna have a swell time tonight, Lois. Glenn, thank you for being such a good friend and looking after me like this. <laughs> no problem. It's kind of chilly out, so I brought you a jacket. Oh, no thanks. I'll be fine. Please? <laughs> ah! What the hell is wrong with you? <clears throat> Lois? Hey, Lois, honey. Sweetheart? Oh, you're awake. Hey, uh, ah. can you hear me the pretzels? Here. Yeah. Goo Google. A search engine for all that the really info works. on the Goo Goo dolls. People are always going to need information about them. We were on our way. We rented office space, and watching it gave us the idea to rent office space. <laughs> hey, why don't you go back to sleep? I'll wake you up when we get there. Okay. Oh, where'd she go? I would only do this yeah, if I was the only one. Yeah, a lot of game hours on menstrual Miss Pac-Man. What? What? 
Jeez. Nothing. Bitch. Uh, clearly we hadn't discussed the, uh, tone of our work environment. I should say we haven't. I thought this was to be a place of business. We got over our initial differences and then spent the rest of the day doing what everybody did in the 90s. <laughs> Look at what? all those hamburgers. You can't eat all those hamburgers, you stupid fella. Oh, jeez! Yep, that's happened to me a lot. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. A lot. Uh, he's gonna do it. Oh, he's so ridiculous. Haven't been in jail for it, though. Meg, I forgot to tell you, your grandfather needs you to pick him up at the airport. Ugh, Grandpa always makes me so nervous when I'm driving. Okay, now me. That's a stop sign! Debating what was better, Forrest Gump or Pulp Fiction? Forrest Gump is ridiculous. One guy does what he's told all the time and makes millions. But a girl goes off, tries to be different, gets AIDS, and dies. I find your argument shallow and pedantic. Is that Forrest Gump? You hear me, you ridiculous man. You're... Whoa! Oh, God! Peter, what the hell is wrong with you? I fall asleep for ten minutes and you plow the car into a tree? Death, that was totally worth it. It was even better than the time I stumbled into that fat, lonely women's club. Uh, excuse me, could I get directions to the Providence Civic Center? Hey, Jefferson, check it out. Chick getting nailed on my head. Sweet. Hey, Teddy, pass the word down to Frankenstein. Oh, ha, ha. You hear that, Brian? A laser rock show. Come on, cheer up, would you? I don't much feel like it. Binary code is the language of computers in which words are translated into sequences of zeros and ones. Anything at all can be expressed in binary, as we demonstrate in this famous scene from The Miracle Worker. Oh, my God, you gotta pay attention to the row. We could have been killed. I mean, look at the front of our car. It's totaled. It's completely totaled, Peter. Oh, this is just terrific. How are we gonna get... Oh, my God. I knew I should have driven. I should always drive. I cannot trust you. Do you like cake? Yes. Do you like my ass? Yes. No. Do you want to eat cake off my ass? No. What kind of cake? Angel food cake. No. Well, Rusty, looks like we're going to eat our way out of another jam. Zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one. Zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one. You got to hit her. Zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one. <laughs> zero, one, zero, one. Hi. Stand perfectly still, Lois. Their vision is based on movement. Where'd you go? And now, back to... I wish it was really like that with prostitutes. Ah! I tried doing that to these three prostitutes over at the Orleans. Control our jealousy. They saw Together. me taking money out of the ATM to Man, play um, roulette. Here's your drink, sir. Yeah, we'll work on it later. Oh, my God. Peter, what the hell are you doing here? Lois, can I talk to you privately? Motherfucker, what? What is it, Peter? Before you marry Tom, what's the Mortal Kombat blood code? I keep forgetting. It's A B A C A B B. Oh, hello, I'm Stu. Hello, uh, I'm Karina. Can we get some quiet on the set? I'm trying to rehearse. Quiet on the set. Don't mind Randall. He's getting into character. Is he playing a dick? Please, <laughs> my hat! <laughs> Wear it now. <laughs> Hey, uh, uh, you two better settle down. Chris, give Meg her hat. I don't have to listen to you. You're a dog. You don't have a soul. Cleveland picked us up in a white Bronco. Why did you have a white Bronco, Daddy? I was driving my innocent friend OJ and his ex-wife's head down to Mexico. Oh, my God, that was hilarious. Oh. You really fell for it. I, I was like, is he going to fall for this? And then when you did, I was like, oh, I guess I should see how far I can take it, because, you know, it'll be funnier. I'm going to kill you. Why are you dressed like that? Uh, because I'm the star of Jolly Farm. Remember how they only needed little girls? Oh, my God. Garfield at Large by Jim Davis. Now, as you can see in this panel, Garfield doesn't care for Normal. But like him or not, Normal is here to stay. Or is he? Let's read it. a guy? Yeah, it's me. Molly, your wife? Molly, ring Nermo on Garfield is a guy? We've been married for 20 years. What's wrong with you? Hi, I'm Judd Nelson. I crash here once or twice a week. Ah. What, you don't think this is amazing? When I saw this at the 1904 World's Fair, I nearly cracked my pants. 
I was having serious regrets about my decision, but was already pregnant with Meg, so there was no backing out. This bee's chasing me! Somebody call Ace Ventura! <laughs> Did you think you were cool? Did you think you were grown up? <laughs> I didn't actually drink any of it. Besides, Jake Tucker gave it to me. Well, we are going to have a talk with Jake's parents tomorrow after my burping. And in the meantime, you're grounded, Chris. Oh, come on, that sucks! Do you want us to pull over? Whoa, you guys gotta try this. Hey, look at me. I'm a pole in a strip club. Oh! It's showtime. Uh, uh, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, oh. Hey, stop! False alarm! Ah, ah. Oh, my God! I'm, I'm flying! I'm flying! Yes, I'll have a diet Sprite. Chris, say hi to Mr. and Mrs. Griffin. Hi, Mr. Griffin. How's it going, man? Chris! Stewie! Oh, my God! All right, don't freak out, Peter. Don't freak out like you did when your goldfish died. Here you go, Lieutenant Shiny Sides. It's okay. You don't have to eat it now. I don't care what you do. Oh, we'll pull over. We'll pull over. Pull over. <laughs> if your teachers ask about your bruises, what do you tell them? I got hit by a baseball. <laughs> hey, baby, you ready to go take a nap? Oh, okay, Randall. I don't think that guy's right for her. Do you see the way he treats her? What do you care? Why do you think she's with him? I think I'm in love with her. Cause she like that. Whenever Meg, you see a guy that's with a girl and he treats her like shit, I'm sorry, she Peter. Love that shit. I'm afraid she's got a father's libido. What can I say? I'm a vegetarian. Oh. The game and on us. Oh, we never should have stolen this film. Oh man, this is even more intense than that time I forgot how to sit down. And I'm grouchy, so get out of my way! You watch that too, moody green garbage creature, or I'll get Bernie and Gert over here to kick your butt! Is there a problem here? Yeah, you need us to use our fists? Look at Julie Bryan. She's absolutely beautiful. Need us to use our fists? Do you think fists? we were too hard on Chris tonight? What? Oh, God, Guy no. Lois? No. No, no, I don't... I don't think so. Do you? Oh, no, I just always feel badly when we have to be strict. Oh, did I remember to turn the stove off? Yes. It was an awful thing that I did. I never meant to steal him from you. Is that what you think? You stole him from me? Are you kidding? You couldn't steal him from me. Well, I do know a few things, Megan. Clearly, if I wanted him, I could have him. Hey, Lois, I'm ready for your pie. And you made dessert, too. Oh! Oh, Glenn, I love all your sex jokes and I your dirty puns. In his mouth. That's why I married you. Mm. Oh, well, he's Let's his wife. go upstairs and do it. Okay! It seems your son Jake had some vodka at the school dance, and uh, Chris got blamed for it. This, uh, this, this whole situation has just turned his whole life upside down face. Oh. It's no concern of mine if it's turned his life upside down face. Jake's a good boy. Yeah, I go to places you couldn't get back from. I'll do anything. You don't know me. Damn, oh my bitch. God. He Damn, hands me bitch. from the shower rod with your old bras, and then we laugh at you. Now get out of my room! Well, when you're ready to talk... Hey, 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 hey! No, 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 no! I took this one out for you! You take this one, I keep this! You are not taking my whole wallet so you can go shopping! I was just gonna buy some groceries! Bull crap! Look, Mr. Tucker, I... We're through here. Get out of my house, Benji. Well, fine. If you're gonna be that way about it, maybe I'll do this. Yeah, look at this. Stop oh, it. Oh, yeah, you don't like this, Stop huh? it. Yeah. Stop doing is, that in my carpet. What Benji would do. Hey! Yeah. Knock it oh, off. Oh, boy, that feels well, so stop good. It, stop That'll it. That feels so good. I don't care. We gotta find a way to summon death and quick. Oh, shit. Well, that might do it. In local news, a Buddy Cianci Jr. high school student has been arrested for possession of drugs. The student has been sentenced to 200 hours of community service and is a very bad boy. We now go to Ollie Williams for the punishment forecast. Ollie? He gonna get it! Thanks, Ollie. And I'm touched that you went through so much trouble just to be with me. Obviously, I made the right choice when I married you. Me too, Lois. And hey, let's just all be grateful that things are completely back to normal again. Who ate all the pecan sandies? Wow, where'd you get it? Oh, I got a guy. 
Don't let it get the best of you. I used to be a lawyer. See you next week. Good to be back, America. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for our national anthem. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. It's Will Blasphemy says D. Twizams.